What's up, everybody? How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Oh, I just like, skipped half the freaking song. Anyway, good evening. Welcome, everybody. Hope your day has been wonderful. It's been productive and good. Hope everyone that was traveling over the weekend has either made it home or uh, makes it home safely. And those of you who stayed at home, oh, good. <laughs> oh man, I had a whole lot of fun yesterday went out of town with my dad and uh, did a little bit of the vlogging and uh, we're going to be playing some Zelda this evening, Breath of the Wild. Uh, it's been a while since I played it. I want to play it again. Uh, I, uh, I just noticed my microphone's bad. Hold on. All right, let's try that again. Uh, a little bit better. Okay. Well, I can, I can live with that. I think I can live with that. Boy, that's weird. You definitely profited more, way more of the arcade than you did at the casino. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. What is wrong with this mic? Hold on. Guess who is back? Again, Cheddar Bob is back. Tell, her, tell a friend. Hello, Mateo. What's going on, man? Why is this microphone so funny? Come on, man. This crazy thing. I don't know what's going on. What in the world is going on with my microphone? What had happened? What had happened? My microphone is all wacky junky. Checkity check check. Hey. That might have done something. That seems like it has done something. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that throughout the course of the stream. Anyway, sorry for the delay, y'all. Let's get into Breath of the Wild. I hadn't played in a while, like I said. And, uh, probably just gonna start over, honestly. <laughs> probably just gonna start over. That seems like a good plan of action. So... Now it can hear me. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you all so much. All right. And change to HDM Izzy. HDM Izzy. We're just going to start over. New game. I think. Hold on. I can barely hear that. I might have to turn up the volume. Let's see, uh, volume. Well, let's picture my own. Okay, uh, volume. We'll do that. But hopefully that's not too loud. Alright. So let's unplug this thing. 
and let's just start in on the game. Thank you all for joining me. I do have my coffee this evening. I hope you all have yours. Cheers. Oh, that is so good. <clears throat> that is really good. It's rich. It's got a nice body to it. It's uh, it's deep, kind of, kind of chocolatey. Um, did you ever have the the Sega handheld system, the Sega Game Gear? I did have a Sega Game Gear. And uh, I had uh, Sonic, and I had a, a television tuner, so I could tune in and watch Channel 5 Wrestling with Jerry Lawler uh, on the local television station uh, on the TV tuner and the Game Gear. Yeah, that was a great little system, man. This coffee, well, you'll recognize it from the video that is available right now for the members of the channel to be released publicly sometime soon of the vlog that I took to, or the trip that I took, the vlog to the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. This coffee is the, uh, <clears throat> it is from Black Forge Coffee. It is Good Morning Coffee. Uh, it says brown sugar, chocolate, and citrus are the notes. I definitely get the brown sugar, almost like a burnt sugar uh, with a chocolate uh, dust or something. Uh, the citrus? I could see like a black cherry or something coming through. I don't really get like a citrus out of it. <clears throat> or maybe a grape. I can kind of get like a grape. Dang, Sean, did we all watch wrestling? Yeah, darn tootin' we all watched wrestling. We sure did, buddy. Have you seen my belt, Mateo? <laughs> I, I, if you hadn't seen it, you gotta check that out. So I gotta bring it out sometime. But anyway... <laughs> <clears throat> I started a little collection of of uh, title belts. All right, so uh, we're just going to start a new game. I'm starting a new game. That's what I'm doing. Even with watch wrestling, wrestling. You were over there in uh, 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 Texas territory, though. Von Erics, the Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild. Need a itty bitty tiny letters. <gasps> I've got sunshine on my video game. Dot dot dot. Suspense. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, they say. <gasps> Blinded by the light. <laughs> Here we go. You're a champ, and my favorite uh, wrestler was Ultimate Warrior, and team was Legends of Doom. Uh, you're in New Mexico. Heck yeah, Mateo. L O D. L O D. Open your eyes. Those were the good old days. Ultimate Warrior was an awesome wrestler. Never mind the bushwhackers. Hi. Yep. Uh, they missed something already. Uh oh. You got two blood. <laughs> uh oh. I can't. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Get up. You getting up? Look at all that glowing blue stuff. And then there's this thing. Alright, we're starting over. We're refreshing our memories. We're trying to figure out what the heck this game's all about. <coughs> Mike, check. <coughs> Four, five, seventeen? I don't know. A lot of them. Alright, I'm not going to worry too, too terribly much about finding every little detail... Coffee mic check is great. Can you smell the fruity notes? Uh, examine. Hawk and animal. Dang, those were the good old years. Air horns for you, my friend. Holy cow, Mateo. You are the bomb diggity, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. 
hawking animal bushwhackers um i've got a whole collection of uh wwf pops uh downstairs i got some jake the snake roberts uh i've got a jake the snake roberts pop that's been signed by him i uh, saw him met him in person uh listened to a great lecture he had um well not really a lecture but a storytelling that he had man that was great stuff j dog party of one has entered the building hello and welcome mr dog of j hello Good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm about to examine this thing in my boxer short uh, um, brief things here. Uh, you can see here I am, pigtails and elf ears, just chilling. Straight up chilling. Gonna play some Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. You're so mysterious. You're so mysterious. Ooh, something wrong with your wrist? All right, so gotta get Mateo on the board. Credit is due for Mateo. He's already over here, but you know what? The the Legion of Doom, LOD. They were red, so we're gonna go ahead and make it red right here for Mateo. Big old red and white smiley face on the black background. That's suitable for LOD. I think so. Thank you so much, Mateo. Uh, J Dog loves this game. I'm trying to love this game. <laughs> I am certainly trying to love this game. I've had difficulty with this game in the past. I'm gonna try to pay attention. I'm gonna try to not ADD myself to uh, oblivion. And uh, <laughs> that is a Sheikah slate. This is a Sheikah slate. Take it. Take it will it. help guide you after your long slumber. Okay. Ultimate Warrior lived up in New Mexico uh, near Taos, or Taos, however you say it. I apologize for mispronouncing the name of the city. Alright, so we're going to take the Sheikah Slate. Like the Iron Sheik. Another great wrestler. Hey, there's the Game Gear. <laughs> the Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You'll never, you've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Yeah, it's like a Nintendo Switch, actually. Uh, I, I would say <clears throat> looks familiar. All right, doors are opening. We on the move. All right, so I've noticed that we have a noise detector, a hot cold meter that is a thermometer ish kind of thing. It says if we're hot, cold, or neutral, and then it has an objective. It looks like, and. Uh, little map in the bottom right of the screen we have a chest here we're going to open it we found some well-worn trousers these old trousers are threadbare in spots but they're surprisingly comfortable the legs are a bit too short though all right so now we're going to open our inventory we're going to select these and equip them now we are wearing pants no more wearing not any pants we are now wearing the pants so let's see what is this there's a barrel Okay. Why do I need a barrel? Was it to climb up on there for some reason? I hope not. What's in here? A shirt. Thin shirt. Let's take it. Let's put it on. We're wearing clothing. Do da do da. What is this? Pick it up. Throw it and stuff. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about any of that stuff. Just going to take a quick look, make sure I'm not missing anything. Totally obvious to me. Examine. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. Hello, Sue. Nice to that see you. That will show you the way. Hold up that Sheikah slate to the pedestal. That will show you how to do things. Okay. Plug it in, plug it in. Y'all remember those commercials? Plug it in commercials. Plug it in, plug it in. Authenticate him. Alright. Authenticate away. Sheikah Slate confirmed. These doors are opening, opening. These doors are really opening. <laughs> Good coffee. Rare coffee. A mighty fine coffee indeed. Making you better feeling. Link. Yes. You are the light. Oh. Our 
your light. Yes, it was. must shine upon High Rule once again. Now go. Go. You kicking me out? Man. Game over. Jump. Oh, jump is X. Sprint is B. Let it go. It is B. We're off. Here we are. Cutscene City. thing over there hi hello how are you excuse me we're on the grand plateau let us take this it is a tree branch wooden branches such as this are pretty common but it's surprisingly well balanced it does not cause too much damage it can serve as a weapon and pinch use weapon okay that is use weapon I already see shinies, so we're going to take these. And we're going to take these. We're also going to take these. Shinies good. Let's continue on trying to follow this man. This man's. We can sprint somehow. Alright. And we'll take that. We'll take that. Come here, man's. I think I saw another shiny over here. These are going to be good to eat. These are going to be good to eat. Alright, old man. Where are you? Anything back here? Squirrel! Squirrel! Alright, let's go. This looks like Valheim in some ways. It kind of does in some ways. Hello, Mr. Old Man. I'm not going to take that without talking to you first. Oh ho, well met stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. Why? I'm just an old fool who's lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? <clears throat> Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you... This is the Great Plateau. According to the legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Look out! It is the Great Plateau. That temple there long ago was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Yeah, can I have uh, that thing? Uh, he's going to be relaxing by the fireside. Uh, he needs to cook himself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on the fire makes them much tastier and more nutritious. Um, can I have your apple? What are you doing? Yes. Alright, well, can I have this? I beg your pardon, I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, oh, oh forgive me. How I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Okay. I have apples. So I have mushrooms, too. Um, I want to select them. I want to hold them. Uh... Alright, so I'm going to hold them. Oh, I'm, I'm on fire. I don't need to be on fire. Uh, a. I'm roasting a whole bunch of mushrooms. Are they done? Toasty Helean mushroom. Yay. 
What? I only got two? Out of all that, I only got two? Alright, now I have three. Alright. You need some orange juice with those mushrooms. <laughs> oh, just the fire. Just the fire. The fire. I got that fire. What's this, a handy dandy torch? Hey. Alright, we got a torch. So we can press and hold this. And well then, just help yourself to that torch there, and how may I ask, are you planning to use it? Um, to set things on fire. Mm. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that. Anything dry grass might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch will make a good weapon if need be. Uh -huh. However, I do not just swing it around without purpose. Your face must... Your, you must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Lock on, okay. I can hold on. Link. Yes. Link. Yes. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. Okay. All right. So I need to go way over there. Okay. How do I switch weapons? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Mr. Old Man. I want my torch. I want my torch. Wait. Thank you. I'm just going to run my torch down over here. I'm going to put the torch away. You know what? I'm going to take this. Yes, I am. I'm going to take this. I'm gonna come up here actually and I'm going to light this. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna light this on fire. What? Oh. Just so I can get the hang of Well, that sucks. How can I not light up the things, man? No, not you. Hey, buddy. What's up, dude? How are you? How are you? Are you enjoying Genesis? Alright, so I need to lock on, but I can't attack or anything with this thing. Hey, that, that worked. I just kind of threw it. <laughs> Alright, well, that's on fire now. That's good. I see an apple over here. Um... See, I can take that apple. Apples are good. Ooh. All right, got a couple of apples. Let's go over here and roast them. Uh, it was delayed until Wednesday. Oh no. Oh no. I saw a little blurb on it on the Steam store. I didn't, uh, let me read it. Uh, let's see, let's hold these. Drop them in the far. Baked apple. Baked apple. Very nice. Where was that wood cutting axe? I saw it over here. Don't I still have that? Yes, I do. Just in case. Just in case. 
I'm supposed to go down this way, it seems. Oh, hi. How you doing? Peace out, man. I'll take a backup tree branch. I don't want to throw my weapon right now, thank you. Can I have that? Thanks. It's a bokoblin, bokoblin horn, the severed horn of a bokoblin, a creature often encountered in the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Jesse, what's up, man? Uh, he said, I hope everyone has been having a good weekend. Uh, yeah, I had a really good weekend. A uh, new video up on the members section for everybody to check out. Um, <clears throat> and, uh... It'll be out uh, public uh, release uh, sometime soon. Probably the next. I don't know. Sometime soon. Can I have that apple? Thank you. Hello? Uh, hi. Choo choo jelly. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Okay. Choo choo to give you. There's a dude over here. He's kind of aggro. Alright, you dropped your pork chop. You dropped your pork chop, bro. Another one of these horns. Walk around here. See if I can find his, uh, his Billy Club of Doom. Let me take your Billy Club of Doom. Thank you. None at you. Oh my god, dude. What is going on here? Holy cow. I'm in a master mode playthrough of this game and it's very rough like Lionel enemies on the starting plateau. Oh my god, a uh, hard. Um, I don't speak Zelda all that much, but that sounds incredibly difficult. Holy cow. Wow, oh wow. Thank you so much, dude. You are amazing. Thank you, man. Oh. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Wonderful day, a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Cheers to you. Uh, this coffee is really good. It is the Good Morning Coffee. Good Morning. Purchased at the Oddities and Curiosity Show in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. by uh, Made by Black Forge Coffee. Such good stuff. <laughs> I gotta get in touch with these people. And like, these people are awesome. I, it's great coffee. I highly recommend them not sponsored hashtag not sponsored but man they're good man they're good let's see we gotta get a good color here yeah no not you thank you so much man Ooh. And the board. The board. You guys are amazing. Let's see what we can do. Um, see, I haven't played this uh, game very much at all. I've gotten through like maybe one or two uh, of the things. I might have made it off the plateau. Um, oh, not much though. A uh, crude bogoblin club made to clobber small prey is essentially a stick, so his durability is low. There we go. Don't want to go up here. Probably not. No, there's things in here. But there's a treasure chest. There's a treasure chest. How many of them are there? Oh, he's kind of aggro. I see you, buddy. Surprise attack! Sneak attack! I sneak attack you! Haha, <laughs> sneak attack. 
Now I take uh, your horn. And I take uh, your club. Now let's go take uh, this treasure. What's in the barrels? Hey! More choo choo jelly. Choo choo jelly! Up we go. Hey, we have trousers. The traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. These plush fabric makes the plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. I have trousers now. Let's equip these trousers. I have better pantalones now. Yay! Better pants is good for me. Better pants. Indeed. Alright. Let us journey onward. Downward. There's a little walking path here. You know, you're not the only one that wanted jello. It actually reminded me of a contact lens. For some strange reason, it reminded me of just a. Uh, ooh. It reminded me of the way a contact lens would feel. I know I'm strange. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. We're going to get out our Billy Club. I'm going to. Can I sneak? I can sneak. I remember this part. I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna push this off. Can, can you stop crouching? There you go. Boom. Peace out, homies. What'd you leave behind? These guys over here are clueless. They just don't care. They're like, whatever. Okay. We can push that thing even more. Well. Alright, so we got a giant piece of meat. Seared steak. Very nice. Okay. What's in here? Pick that up. Throw it in the fire. Throwing it. Oh, there it goes. Way over there. Take another club. There's more over here. If you're going to do a full playthrough, I can send you some amiibo cards for the game. They give you chests and items, and the opponent and the horse. Um, I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full playthrough or not. Um, I really don't know. I've, I've had a hard time getting into it. So, I'm kind of, kind of reluctant. But, um, I don't know. If I get into it, then absolutely we can, we can work something out. Use them, send them back, do all that good stuff. Alright, yeah, you guys. Wham, bam. I'm going to need that. You have a bow and arrow. No more, you don't. No more, you don't. Draw a bow. Alright, that's great. Let's just get rid of it all. Stop. Stop playing on me. Take your bow too. No. Back up. Mine. Take your horn. A fang. A tooth obtained from a bow goblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Okay. 
I got arrows. Common or bundle of five common arrows and shafts. These arrows was carved from a wood from a sturdy tree. Another horn. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Yeah, it's a game that's right up my alley, but not every game is for everyone. Yeah, I've, I've tried. At the front door. He's at the back, and I'm sitting in the rocking chair. What's up, Cammy and the Mrs. Hello? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and pick up some food. Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> I've tried it like three times or so, and it just hadn't quite been my... So I'm going to put that away, draw this, now I can come down over here. Oh boy, I thought you were going to not be doing that. Yikes, there's a lot of y'all. I got to move. I got to move. Yo, 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 let's go. How do I get out of here? Ah, I need to like sprint or something. How do I, f how do you sprint in this game? Uh-uh. No, oh, I played the Zelda 1 game. I never really got anywhere with it either. Where's my sprint button? That's what I want to know. Sprint. Move, focus. Jump, attack, change weapons, options, no, Hip. all right, so you hold down B to sprint. So you hold down B. All right. Look in the iron skull and scoot the fire chandelier down inside the skull. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I figured there was a trick to it. Just didn't know what it was. I'm coming over here. Stand up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a Perfect shot. <laughs> well, at least I'm only getting one of them at a time.
Aim higher, hit the rope. All right, aim higher, hit the rope. Aim higher, hit the rope. There's still one in there alive. Yes, yes, whatever. Where is the spiked Boku Club? Oh, he didn't take it. Crap. Just kill it. Just kill it. Let's open up our inventory and drop some of the stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, drop that. Drop that. Take the spiked Boku Club. I need some heal. Whoopsie. I, I need some heal. Heal. five self-explanatory right, how many other arrows do I have zero other arrows I have fire arrows. whoa I don't want that What type of horn? It is a bow goblin horn. Several horn, the severed horn of a bow goblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It is an edible, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. All right, we're going to continue the path over here to this tall structure. Running across the plains. I see things. There's a thing over here. The floating island. Alright, so there's a floating island. 
That's kind of interesting. Oh, it's not an island. It's a helicopter. Okay. There's a goblin down there. And then there's a... Uh, statues over there. I'm looking to go in here, though. Up here. And not disturb anything in the process. Climb down. Okay. Okay, I guess I did that the hard way. <laughs> That's cool. Well, here I am. Let's examine the thing. Place the Sheikah slate in the pedestal. Go ahead. You can do this. Yeah, put that Nintendo Switch down. Take a break. Watch what it has to say. Sheikah Tower activated. <coughs> Ew. <coughs> Woo. <coughs> Wrong way. Mm. Please watch for falling rocks. Swallow your coffee correctly, please. Woo. Don't do that. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, I'm good. I just swallowed my coffee and tried to breathe at the same time. Serious. <laughs> Here everything goes. Oh! <laughs> the tower, which is emerging, it's growing! up to you sir the great plateau tower all right distilling local information <clears throat> the blue eye dripping into the nintendo switch of link hello It's a, it's a regional map has been extracted. <laughs> try, try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Hello. It's like my favorite word of the stream. Hello. How you doing? Now then. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Okay. I will single-handedly <laughs> dispense of that for you. Oh boy. Follow the slate complete. Okay. Next. Objective. I guess I go down. Try not to hurt myself. Can Link read a map? My, my, it 
would seem as we have quite the enigma here, huh? This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a lone dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say. And did it happen... Did you happen to recognize this voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. Okay. <clears throat> I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Yes. Mm. Briefly. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its past. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil. Just barely. Mm -hmm. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that the moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous ones, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Yeah, sure. Eventually. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Yeah. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, then well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paragliner like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. Ahoy, certainly, why not? But there's no such thing as a free item, you know. Let's see. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure? Okay. Send me on a fetch mission. Let me show you something. Okay. After your descent from the tower, the old man told you that the kingdom of Hyrule was, yeah, uh -huh. Follow the old man. Where are we going, bud, bud? Is there a map? Here's a map. Shrine of Resurrection. Here's where we are. RIP! <laughs> yeah, here's the plateau. Ryback! Thank you so much, man. Renewing the membership, dude. You are amazing, man. Thank you so much. Ryback. You see that structure there, the one shining with the strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. All the members of the channel do have a video up right now. If y'all care to watch it. Uh, I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure. Okay. Treasure for that paraglider, a fair exchange, I believe. Love this game, one of your favorite Legends of Zelda ever. I have heard that it is a great one. I'm trying to get into it, so I'm trying, man. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Cammy and the missus. Uh, thank you for sharing the video. You guys are amazing. Our health is doing good. I don't think I need any fish. I think my weapon stash is all right, sort of, kind of. Make sure there isn't anything like obviously gonna hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. There's some treasure up there. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Let's just go down this way. Let's just go down this way. I'm not gonna mess with these too much. He's going to do as I'm told. Stick to the mission. It gets better. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to try to be patient with it. And stick to the mission. Not, not try anything too crazy. We can always explore the game later, right? Once we get the hang of things. Alright. Here's the thing. Got some arrow, arrow, got two arrows, that's good. 
anybody around her? Anybody out there? Is anybody out there? Temple Run! VGP time. VGP version. Temple Run. Alright. Alright, the Magnesis Trial. <clears throat> I'm going to do the unheard of. I'm going to get some more coffee. I'm going to pollute it with creamery and sugar. I know it's nonsensical, but that is what I'm going to do. I like my coffee polluted sometimes, so cheers. I got my handy dandy pouring vessel. Um, Ikea! Ikea. Oh, it works better today. Not splashing around as much as it was yesterday. That's nice. That's nice. Well, it's actually kind of funny. I started drinking coffee in my creamer. I mean, creamer in my coffee. Uh, a long time ago, uh, my mother drank uh, creamer in her coffee. She drank milk in her coffee. Not too much, just a splash. But as a child, I used to watch Nick at Night, and Nick at Night used to air this program called Dragnet. It was about the uh, uh, about two cops out in California, uh, San Francisco, I believe. Anyway, um, Nola fam, what is up? Just jumping in to say hi. You've been so busy, haven't played Beat Saber in months. Oh my goodness, man. Well, Nola fam, thank you so much for dropping in. I know you're super, super busy and uh, taking the time out to say hello. Appreciate it, man. Cheers to you. Um, went to an Oddities and Curiosities <laughs> Mic check 1-2 show yesterday. The video is up if you have time to enjoy it um, They uh, had a, uh, ow, a uh, Stop in New Orleans as well So I was thinking about you a little bit when we were in there had the New Orleans -y vibe N Gerald hey, bro. What's up, man? Cheers. So, I used to watch Dragnet as a kid, and, uh, oh, I hear you, man. I hear you. Joe Friday on Dragnet, yep, and he used to drink his coffee with, uh, double, double cream and double sugar. So, it was a double-double. <laughs> and I always thought that was so cool how he ordered his coffee, and that is when I started putting two packets of creamer and two packets of sugar in my coffee, and I would have myself my own version of the Double Double. Just the facts. Just the facts. Just the facts, man. Just the facts. That's right. The distilling rune. Okay. What does this dealio do? I ordered a, a new tripod kind of situation thing for the Lego studio. So hopefully we can get in there and actually start some decent building. I'm just not happy with the way the camera is set up right now. And I haven't had an opportunity to rig anything up. Although that might be something I can try to do if I can find a decent gooseneck and clamp or something. I don't know. Well, anyway, I, I ordered a tabletop that looks like a mic stand with a gooseneck on it. So hopefully that'll be good for building. Um, better than what I have now. <clears throat> Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab on the metal bleh, metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours from both the Magnus, uh, from the Magnesis room. Okay. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted and moved freely. Okay. Uh, Elise and I have been trying, or have been playing Cuphead on the Switch, made it to the King Dice. 
which is where we were on the PC. Oh, yeah. More Lego. It almost happened tonight, and then I was like, I want to play video games. <laughs> um, use Rune. Okay. So these can be moved. Maybe the, the doors can be moved. Activate. Alright, well that's not... Alright, well let's activate. Activate that and move it. Yeah, yeah let's... My check one, two. You found a cheap HDMI input to stream the Switch? Oh yeah? What'd you end up getting? I ended up getting a, uh, a mirror box. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now we're on mirror DC. On mirror DC. I want to I want to play Cuphead. Um, is there any advantage of the Switch version over the PC version, or vice versa? I think I need to get this, and let's go over here. Let's just uh, put it right here, maybe. Climb. No. Maybe I can... Oh, oh! No? Can I pull this out a little bit? Oh, cool. I can just knock them over. I can just knock them over. No advantage, as you can tell. Okay, cool. Uh, I need to not... Whoa, hey. Okay. from killing this thing. Ancient screw. It is a screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show any times of wear. Any kinds of wear. Ancient spring. A spring used in ancient machinery. It is light and buoyant enough to float on water and yet no matter how many times it's compressed, it's never losing its... It, it never loses its tension. Interesting. Alright, I don't remember that guy from the last go around. Probably need to eat something. Uh, let's try an apple. Let's eat one apple. I'll refill our health. And now we have this plate right here. We can go ahead. And grab this. Flip this around over here. Go forward. And uh, drop it. Okay. What's in here? Got to run. I've uh, been out in the sun pulling up your landscaping by hand the last two days. You're pooped. Ooh, I bet you are, dude. What says? Is that a scorpion thingy? I don't know. Traveler's bow. A small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage when you use to attack distance or long foes from a long distance. So let's take that and equip it. And does this do any more damage? 3 to 12. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is a 3. So this goes 3 to 12. Let's definitely equip that. Yeah. Can I open these doors? I think I can. Whoa. Stay open. 
All right, they gave me a bow for a reason, probably. Brian, thank you so much for coming in. String Bean, hello. Stop in to hit the like button and tell everybody hello. Thank you so much, man, for coming in and saying hello. I was just saying I bought a new camera rig for the Lego builds, so that's going to be awesome. It takes place after this game. Okay. Oh, what was the name of it? Oh, yeah, we already talked about that. Never mind. I remember. I remember. The Hyrule Warrior things, yeah. This is the dude that created the trial. He's a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Halea, and dedicated to helping those to defeat Ganon. Alright, with your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. You gonna go peace out, buddy? Okay, he's gonna give me a gift now. You gonna give me a gift? Please accept the spirit orb. Thank you. I will accept it greatly and with humbleness. Bestoweth upon me your great gift. Oh, monk, you. Thanks. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Thanks. Appreciate Draw your bowstring while jumping from a high place to briefly slow down time so you can aim with greater accuracy. Nice. Oh! Oh! Oh, do you two? Man, are you Santa Claus? It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How'd you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. Oh, oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult, to, more difficult to see what is right before your own eyes. I know that's right. <laughs> However, that which was once hidden from you can often be crystal clear, uh -huh. but perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? Oh. It's been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think that something, how something like this survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines were tucked away in numerous places across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of these shrines and I'll give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal, so I need more now. I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? Since I am feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick to finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> I'll admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you a little something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Okay. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke the shrine you came from in the tower. Okay. Yeah. You can travel instantly to any one of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Okay? Hmm. Or I heard quite some time ago. I don't know if it actually works. Alright. Let's see. Shrine of Resurrection. Was that it? Where's the tower? There's the tower. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go again. Gonna climb up to the tower. Find ourselves a shrine. Santa Claus is here. Yay! <laughs> oh, ho to you too, buddy. 
Hmm. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? <laughs> so you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, hmm. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you like to on the map for 39 <laughs> horror collector fiend what is up backseat hey fiend what is up bro how is it going thank you so much man thank you so very much for your generous super chat <laughs> mike check the coffee is strong in this one this evening i'm telling you horror fiend how is it going thank you so much dude you were amazing so good to see you Horror collector fiend. Uh, I need to watch some wrestling. I need to watch some wrestling. I hadn't watched wrestling in far too long. Horror collector fiend. Thank you. Thank you so very much, dude, for the super chat. You were amazing, man. Cheers to you with my good mornings coffee hashtag not sponsored good mornings by black forge coffee i really need to get in touch with these people these people are like right up my alley <laughs> boy that's good all right look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you like on the map okay <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> All right, so I need to do this. Find a thing. Ooh, there's a, a temple over there, or a shrine, a shrine. All right, so there's a shrine over here. Can I... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to place a pin over there. There was another shrine somewhere over there. There's more. I know that there's more. One, two... Got that one. Two. Let me check one, two. I've already pinned those two. Pinned that one. Pinned that. Did I pin that one? Okay, there's another one. So I got that one, that one, I got that one off in the distance, and then the fourth one is down there. Okay. Help me out here. Hmm. Oh, I already got this one though. Not seeing any others. Already got that one. Already got that one. Is there only four? Including the one down there? And my three day weekend is going fantastic. <clears throat> I've put out a new video. Uh, it'll be released uh, to the public uh, sometime soon. Um, but I went out to Little Rock and I went to an Oddities and Curiosities. Uh, festival or expo and it was really really cool there's a shooting star that's cool so is this all of them hmm. Hmm. all right adventure log a total of four shrines. Alright, total of four shrines. That's good. 
So now let's try to go to the map. Um. Oh, no, no, no. Right into the water. Beautiful. Didn't mean to do that. Um, map. Where is the map? There it is. Can I journey here? No. I can journey to here. Because I am a dummy, yes. Because I'm a dummy. So I probably just need to climb down here and walk over here. Alright, let's just climb down here. And then just walk over. How is y'all's uh, Memorial Day weekend going? Y'all got any big plans for uh, tomorrow? Y'all just hanging out, chilling? What all you got going on? Alright, I'm just gonna kind of take this path. This way. Drop that. And I'll take the spear. Alright, all kinds of stuff. We got a fang. Arrow. Arrow. Arrows are good. What else do we have around here? We got arms. Another fang. Oh, this is a wing. Uh, you can put that in a stew. There's an eyeball. Another wing. Fang. Fang. Arrow. Nice haul of arrows here. Uh, nice haul of arrows. This is awesome, actually. regular arrows. Alright, I think I've got everything. What's this? Another arrow. Nice. Dude. Arrows. Hotel ha life hated you? Oh no. Man, there's just like everything over here. Alright. So I'm headed this direction. I still got two apples. Um, there is a fire right here. I'm gonna go ahead and roast these apples. Hold that, and hold that, and I'm going to put them in the far. So this one is now a baked apple. Hold. Roast. Doesn't seem like it wants to set on fire. 
There he goes. Baked apple. Alright, what else can I roast here? Uh, I don't have a pot to make any stew. So... Let's um, take our torch. Set. <laughs> Most wanted treasures? I have not. I need to watch that. More eyeballs. More wings. Alright, we're already taking everything out of here. I need to go up this way. sure we're not getting anything crazy there's like a farm over there all right I remember those those are like guardian things so I want to stay away from those jump like that okay I'm gonna go on the outside of all this Bo what is up bro my bro Bo stay away from the guardians your dog's breath smells like something died oh no alright we're getting ever so close Bo don't know Ever so closey, that's a word. Closey is a word. It's gonna go in the back gate over here. Hopefully nothing is going to get me. We've made our way to the shrine. Well that's cool. Uh I really just wanted to equip a different weapon. I don't want to do that. Uh how about these? I done forgot how to switch weapons again. I thought it was... Hmm. That's the map. If I hold that, then it just charges that. What in the heck? No, it's not that. I didn't want to throw that, thanks. You had to hold something. change these I know there was a way to quick change these weapons <laughs> change weapon okay it was these no there it is there it is all right. They're nearly the same as Resident Evil, really? I guess the piano is kind of ominous. You make me go at this thing from the front. Or 
around the goblin. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not great. Stay out of that thing's sight, that would just be great. Alright, so there it is. I need to get way over there. No, not that way, you fool. Okay. I think I was supposed to get one of the guardians to blow that up, but we'll just go at it like this. Alright, remote bomb. Uh, four second blast used to... The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cube. Okay. So I gotta do the rune is this way. So I'm on the bombs. Okay. Let's see what this is. Nothing. So, let's activate. Let's put that away. Let's put that away. Anyway, uh, let's activate the room. No, you fool. That is quite... See the controls I just don't get. It says R. Oh, I'm pressing ZR. I wonder. And then L. Okay. Alright, so I can go two different ways. Come back and get that direction right now. Okay. 
That was terrible. Pick it up. Back in here. Treasure. Traveler's Claymore, a basic two handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Its immense weight can knock enemy shields right out of their hands. 12 to 10. Inventory's full. Let's drop something. Let's drop. Um, let's drop one of these. have a uh, 10 here so I already have 12 so we'll keep that in, in inventory there's no map on this dungeon by the way let's go place this on here rolling <laughs> whatever all right so we're going to go over here I remember this this was fun so we can Hop on here and yeet ourselves over to open this. Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it, has been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Uh, no combining again. I'll have to look into that the next time I'm on the inventory screen. Stairs. And that's just going back and forth. And this was, I set a bomb on it. And that's what I do here. So I set a bomb in here. Down the hatch. Now, I go. Whee! <laughs> that was great fun. All right, we've done it. Two shrines done. Resourcefulness is overcoming or for overcoming blah blah blah. More spirit orb, okay? GG, thank you. No more. Alright. Yay. May the goddess smile upon you. I hope so. Alright, we got full health now. All three hearts. Yay. Alright, so we're 
back here. There are guardians here. There's a guardian over there. So you gotta be strategic about this. The guardian is not happy. Barely harmed him. Alright, we're going to run up out of here. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're okay. Another ancient screw. We out of here. We are gone. We are leaving. All right, which one should I go towards? I wonder. We have one way over there and one over here. We might as well go for this one, right? Might as well go for this one. Crosstown's in the room. What's up, man? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. It looks like the game is directing me to go towards this big old boy. This big old church looking thing over here. So that's where we're gonna go. But we're really headed towards the thing. Now I might miss something in here. I'm sure I'm gonna miss something if I don't go in here, right? Right. Temple of Time. Hope there's not any live guardians in here. That would suck. I hear music. Oh, hi. Is it just the one of you? Is it just the one of you? My Boku is badly damaged. Alright, so let's change over to the Claymore. What was this? Okay. What's this? Just a clay pot? Okay. There's some treasure over here. I like treasure. I like treasure. Ooh, another bow. Okay. There's something sparkly over here. Huh. Just butterflies, I suppose. Just butterflies. You remember the church? Sword of the church. Oh, we can pray? Oh, cool. What's happening? You're getting spiritual enlightenment in Zelda. Nice. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power, but you do not have the four spirit orbs. Seek out the shrines scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Once you have claimed four spirit orbs, return to me. Ooh. So do I go to there or do I go to the thing? I could bring the orbs back here, or I bring the orbs back to the man. I think I need to go to my map and mark this location. I need to mark this, um, select this, and put a, uh, a star here. Let me just put a star here. Alright, so I'm gonna head this way. Where's that thing? 
Uh, won't be on too long today. Work, uh, vaccine, and other stuff tomorrow. Oh, wow. Busy, busy day. Well, I hope that goes well for you, my friend. We'll head up this mountain. What is it? Almost a duplicate of village? Really? Maybe you're seeing something. I don't know. I do know that I'm enjoying it. I do know that I'm enjoying it. Uh, so far, I haven't reached... Oh no. Let's go back down. I haven't reached the point of frustration yet. So, over here is just a blank cliff face. So, I think I'm going to go the walk around path, which is probably what it wants me to do. Seeing as how it gave me stairs here, a little indicator path. Oh, I see shinies. These can probably be eaten. Peppers! <clears throat> Uh, cook it to raise your body temperature so you can combine it over a fire and cook it. Alright, looks like this is where it starts to get really cold out in here. Temperature is kind of chilly. Now I'm taking damage. Okay. So, that means... Oh, here's... How convenient. <laughs> Whoa, give me that back. I need that. I need my bow and arrow. Y'all all go over there and check it out. Yeah. Nice. You too, buddy. Whoa. Torch. I have one of those. Pot lid. Alright, cool. So I have a shield now. I have a shield now. That's great. So I have a shield and a sword, but I can only hold one at a time. Okay. Thinking too far into it, watching a Facebook streamer playing Village yesterday. At one point, it came across randomly. I love that game, but I know you couldn't beat it. <laughs> I'm going to get back to it. Um... Probably, uh, I'm going to finish it up uh, sometime during the week this week. Um, probably got one or two more sessions at most, hopefully. We'll see. I uh, need to get the four items and bring them back to the guy like the four canisters of roast. Oh, yeah. I c yeah, I can see that. Uh, roasted bird drumstick. Nice. Nice. Those are good. I think I have enough spears. Uh, more spicy peppers. Uh, more spicy peppers. A Korok leaf. A single swing of this giant sturdy leaf can create a gust of wind strong enough to blow away light objects. These will sometimes fall off trees. Well, that's cool. Let's get rid of something in our melee department. Um, I don't think I need this club anymore. So we'll drop it in favor of the leaf. Uh, drop that, yeah. I'll take that. And I still have this out. That's great. What was that? Corn, pepper, mushroom, mushroom, fang, horn. Uh, alright. More mushroom. Take that, take that. Uh, spicy peppers, more spicy peppers, and a seared steak. Nice. Let's see. Can I combine these things? That is the question.
What happens if I hold these two items and place them on the fire together? The wind just blew away my mushroom. Alright, let's sit by the fire. You can pass time by the fire. Sit by the fire until morning. That's a good idea. Let's sit by the fire until morning. Yeah, I can kind of see how, you know, getting the pieces. It's all a fetch quest, really. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that. Alright, I'm gonna... Try to head this way. Avoid the cold. I don't have any... I don't have, like, a pot yet, so I can't really make a stew. Or anything like that. Oh, there's the old man again. Look at that. What you doing, old man? I need to roast some things here. Actually, how much food do I have? I really want to make a, a stew. Hmm. Alright, they're going. Alright, let's go. Let's go up the hill. Wait, we weren't going that way. We were going to... Yeah, we're going to the blue one. Over to the blue shrine. From whence we're, from where we came from. Okay, can't go down that way. Let me take these mushrooms though. I don't think I can go all the way through there. Hmm. Oh wow, that's like way over here. And this one is way over here. Oh man. Okay, I've got to figure out how to cook this stuff, I guess. It says I'm getting too cold if I do that. Go that way, I'm gonna get too cold. Well. I guess that's just what I have to do. Alright, we're good, let's go. Maybe I can not die or something. Or maybe I could carry a torch. <laughs> maybe. carry a torch, maybe I can stay warm. That's smart, right? That makes perfect sense. You can even see the heat coming off of it. Let's hope there's no enemies over here. Oh no, how am I going to climb that? With only one hand. going to be able to get past? The outside? No? Oh no. 
Oh, that's okay. I need to go way over there anyway. Oh no, there's a dude up there. There's a dude up there. It's not good. I need to get a, a, around the dude. Can I, can I set these on fire? I do have fire arrows if I need them. I can't climb. I can't climb one handed. Now I need fire. I need fire. I'm going to die. not too bad up here so I can eat all right Boku shield great all right so let's check our inventory let's eat let's eat the drumstick All right, and let's hang out by the fire for a minute. Uh, change that to our that. Nice. We'll stay warm. Let's open the chest. We're doing good. We're doing good. Zelda dude, the gaming legend. Zelda Breath of the Wild is the worst Zelda game, and I'm only here because it's Zelda. Well, I appreciate your opinion, and uh, thank you for stopping by. Hope you're enjoying the gameplay this evening. Uh, let's see, that's the Boku Bow. Alright, what kind of strength does that have? Traveler's Bow, 5 to 5. Boku Bow, 5 to 4. Alright, so I've already got the Traveler's Bow. We're good on that. Oh, uh, where's my... Go. Let's go ahead and swing that to keep ourselves warm. I can't believe I just lost all that health over no good reason. Should I bust that open? Probably. I don't guess that burst is open. Get some far going here. Eat something. And I wish I'm gonna hold these. I'm gonna eat these. Roast them. Toasty, 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 toasty. Nice. Go ahead and eat one of those, eat one of those, eat one of those, and let's make some more. Let's uh, toast these. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see, cancel. Let's hold, hold, and drop in the fire. Now we'll get them after they do the thing. Baked apple, baked apple. Let's see, uh, what says, sorry you didn't enjoy it, different games have playability per person, it's all good though, teach to learn, exactly, yeah. Uh, see, Zelda Dude says, I prefer Zelda to be a dungeon crawler, going from point A to point B, not freedom, and open world game series, you do not like open world games. Okay. Well, it is, uh, a different, uh, Zelda than what some Zeldas have been in the past, I can understand that. And, uh, that, I suppose, is why they have some of those games available on the Switch. On the uh, NES simulator emulator program thing on the Switch. I think they're still on there. Pretty sure they were on there. They're classic video games. Classic video games are classics for a reason. And that gameplay style was appealing to lots of people. So I can appreciate that. And this game style is appealing to lots of people too. They're trying to hook in the GTA audience. I, I truly believe that they're just trying to hook in the open worldness and make it a little bit more.
approachable. Maybe. I'm just opinionating. Don't mind me. <laughs> Let's see, how do I get down here? Peacefully. Yeah, I know, this music is something. Let's see. I want to climb down. Can I just, can I climb down? Yeah! Alright, come on. Oh, I picked a good spot to climb down. I picked a good spot to climb down. I don't know what this is. It's an iron sledgehammer. This large iron sledgehammer was originally used for mining, but it worked reasonably well as a weapon too. I will take that. Yes, I will. Let's get rid of something. Let's get rid of uh, this leaf. Uh, let's drop that. I'll take that. And can I climb down from here? I can. Let's climb. Uh-oh. Not good. Okay, we're going to go this way. Just trying to get to the sunshine, honestly. Awa Dame Shrine. All right. We've made it, everyone. Butterflies. There is a treasure chest right there. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Uh-oh. I'm going to put this here. And now I'm going to blow this up. That didn't work. Uh, how do I change that? I forgot already. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got myself. Shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Can't move this. Get to the thing. How can I not move that? Should I put the bomb over here, maybe? Well, maybe, whatever it is, I will find out in here. Can I save, maybe? Save. Nice. Save. Okay. See y'all after cutscenes.
Alright, so this is the stasis trial. Where we can stop things from moving. So we can stop time right there. Oh, I have to do it to that. I see. Oh. I don't hold it, I just push it. Okay. Now I gotta let it recharge. Okay. out for it here or what? I'm confused. Now I can just run for this one. Okay. Okay. I see. So then that's gonna go and I just have to stop it in the middle of time as it's rolling past. Okay. I see what's up. get out of the way before it drops another one. Yep. <clears throat> Traveler shield, yay! Let's go ahead and change that. Um, now I have to go down here so I can just roll with these all the way down. I'm gonna let my health regenerate, my stamina, that is. I'm gonna go this way. Just gonna go that way, I'm just gonna sprint across here. I have one of these hammers already. I'm going to take another one, I think. Uh oh. Um, inventory. I've never really used this spear. Um,. I guess I can drop this. Pick up the sledgehammer. I hate doing that. Why do I keep doing that? I shouldn't be doing that. Let's pick that up. Understand how that works, but that works. Okay. To another spirit orb, yay. Another spirit orb, yay! Uh, is there a delay in whatever you're doing to activate that in the response? Um, I think it was just a uh, placement of uh, where things are, the location where the boulder was. It was being blocked by the walls and the chains had to attach or something. Okay. 
So we've gotten this far. Now I can use this to stop time and then smack this thing to make it go way far away. And then look inside this treasure chest. And get another bow? I already have a bow. I don't need another bow. Thank you, though. The only bow I need is scratch and bow on the go. Let's get our torch going on here. Let's get our torch going on. I guess there's not a torch going on here. Oh, boy. Alright. Guess we're going this way. And hopefully not freezing. Cold. Follow the side of the mountain here. See a village down there. Can't get to it easily. Oh, it's going to get cold. Oh, it's getting cold. I need a fire. I need a fire. It's cold up there, too. Don't forget the goats. Nope. Don't forget the goats. Can't forget the goats. Alright, where was that uh, little camp at? I don't know if I have enough stamina to climb this mountain, but we're gonna try. Come on, you can do it all the way. Straight up, man. Straight up, you can do it. You're almost more than halfway there. I'm gonna make it. Alright, that's better. That's better. We're good. We're good. Alright, come on. Up. Up. Climb. I'm stuck. Hmm. Can't climb down there. That's just a big old pit. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing over here to light on fire. That's a big old pit. Will it let me climb down here? Yeah. I think that's what I need to do. Need to climb down. There's a little ledge over here. You can climb to it. That's not the ledge. It's alright though. We'll be okay. We'll just get above this little ledge and just go down. We'll be okay. eye on our stamina make sure we're directly over that go straight down I'm just gonna go straight down until I can't go straight down anymore and hopefully we don't die is not too much of a fall. We're about to find out. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Look at us. We're okay. We did it. There's a lizard down here. There's a lizard down here. Y'all hear the lizard? Y'all see the lizard? There's a 
bee on a tree? Bunch of apples. Dude, what's that? An acorn! Nice! Whoa. I heard people. I see fireflies. I'm gonna save my game. I'm gonna save my game. That's probably the smartest thing I've done all night. <laughs> Alright, apples. Hey, what's up, Taro and T, my real life wife? How you doing, babe? Good to see you. Take the apple. got a couple of apples. Oh, those are asleep. Okay. Alright, so we got two asleep over here. So, let's draw our bow. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Yes, we'll draw our bow. Where is its head? is badly damaged. Great. Great. I need another torch. I didn't mean to attack them with the torch, but it happened. It happened. It's around the corner over here. Anything worth anything? Nothing worth anything. Okay. Go pick up another Boku horn thingy. That's the club. There's the horn. Alright. So we'll go over here to this. Uh, and I have to go down there. That gummit. I didn't want to go down there. How do I get over there? Oh no. I'm like stuck on my own little island here. What? What? Really? I have to go... I have to traverse all of that. There's no way I can climb back up there. I mean, I guess there is a way. But. So I have to get on here and go to the left. Straight across. Without falling. You hear the old man? Oh, do you? He's going across as far as I can. You can do it. Alright, we're halfway there. Almost there, y'all. Oh, this is close. Oh, don't go up. Don't go up. Just go. Just go. We overland yet? We overland yet? I think we're overland. Alright, let's get down. Let's go down. Let's go ahead and drop down here and change our weapon. gonna get bad before it gets good. Alright, I don't think they have any spears yet. Okay. Oh, he's got an arrow. That makes a fun noise. That makes a fun noise. That was 
That was great. <clears throat> Alright, what goes up here? A throwing spear. Nice. Inventory's full. Of course it's full. Alright, what can I get rid of? Uh, as far as weaponry goes. Um, I don't really want this. Ooh, let's drop that. Wait, likey that noise. <laughs> Alright, I have a throwing spear now. This is good. Let's go and roast some stuff. Uh, I'm going to need... I'll take the apple, hold, and drop those here. Baked apple, baked apple, nice, thank you. Search this, seared steak, thank you. And what else uh, can I cook? Mushrooms. I wonder what happens if I cook one of these. Add to a meal. I don't have a pot yet, so I'm going to hold off on those. Um, I've got five mushrooms, a steak, and eight apples. I'm just going to hold off on cooking anything for now. We'll go gather some more mushrooms, though, and see what's over here in the loot area. I do see something in the loot area. Maybe I can stop time? No? Uh, maybe I can just... Get Oh, honeybees. Great. Uh-oh. Um, stop time. Maybe I can just be very gentle. Stamella shroom. Green mushroom that grows near trees and under the forest. Chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release stamina restoration properties. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I want to crouch, maybe? Not disturb those things. Get me out of here. Yikes, man. This is not good. They're still attacking me. They done? That was rough. How do I get that? I wonder. Um, maybe if I get the throwing spear. <laughs> okay. How do I throw the throwing spear? Maybe I can just shoot this? Yeah. Coarser bee honey. Honey straight from the hive, chock full of vitamins. Cooking this into a meal unlocks potential of these nutrients and provides stamina recovery. Alright. And what was in here? A bomb arrow. Nice. Let's change this around. Let's get our hammer back. And we'll go cook some stuff. Here's another bow. Shield. Uh, what can we cook? Let's cook all of these. Need to make sure that those are not burnt. All right. Um, grant. <laughs> Restore a bit of health. What? No. Oh, well. Oh, what else should I roast? Probably a couple of mushrooms. Because. Hey, Cheryl. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Acorn, apple, good. Acorn, good. Arrow, good. Apple, acorn, arrow. Apple, acorn, arrow. Very good. Nice little loot. Lots of apples. Let's go roasting some apples. Oh, arrow. Take that. Nice little loot stash. Alright, uh, arrows, apples. Very cool. Let's roast these. Baked apples for everyone. roast no I don't think they're roasting on to the fire there they go why aren't they roasting Now that one's roasting. That's good. One baked apple. Hold. And... Place. There it goes. Now it's on fire. Sweet. Weekend is great. Good to hear it. Good to hear that your weekend has been going good. Three day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Sit. Until morning. Grab your coffee. My weekend is going awesome. 5 a.m. Why would you want to wake up that early? My weekend is going pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, been uh, uh. See, I went to the Oddities and uh, Curiosity Show yesterday. Now it looks like I'm about to go over Mount Hillia to get over here. Is that a bridge? I can't even tell. So I gotta go over this mountain right here, it looks like, to get to there. Is that where I am headed? Yeah. So let's get our... Ooh, this is way badly damaged. That's not good. Oh, it's badly damaged. Can I craft? I wish I could, like, craft a new torch or something. I can't go that way, so I must go this way. What are these? A rush room? A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere but first ceilings and spirit cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. That's nice. That's nice. You know what? Let's just stay down here. Let's just stay down here for now. Hey, there's more of these. We can cook them eventually. Oh, I set it on fire and then my torch went out. That was smart. Run faster. Alright, that was the church. We've already completed that temple. No, we have not completed this temple. We have we need to complete that temple. stopping me? I forgot. Maybe I couldn't get to it this way? And then my torch is badly damaged. That's okay. I 
Oh yeah, it gets really cold right over there. So I have to take my torch with me. There should be a campfire over here. I see it. Very good. I need to change the to this. I need another torch. Torch. Take. Um Let me drop let me drop the stick. No, let me drop this torch. Drop that torch and take that torch. And then... Nice. nice. Now we can go this way. Break time. Gotcha. So now I'm over here. This isn't creepy or scary at all. Ooh, I can light this on fire? Firewood? Yes! Firewood's awesome. Let's search this guardian thing. An ancient screw. I don't know what those are for. I think I need to light this on fire. It's way too cold to walk on. Ooh. Game over. <laughs> Continue. Nobody saw that. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> I need to get out of here. There we go. Go and get some health. Your weekend sucks. Oh no, dude. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it gets better for you. <clears throat> we have our torch. We're going to come down here and light our campfire. campfire. There's nowhere I can go that way, but I'm gonna go and check it out anyway. Ooh, that's a, a woodcutter's axe. So I can drop that and take that. I don't want to use it because I have the torch right now and the torch is kind of useful for life at the moment because I don't have any heat resistant clothing. It looks like I just go straight ahead on through here. It's still very cold. But I'm, I'm going. I'm making it. this along the way. I'm gonna sit until morning by the fire. Fire! Alright, I'm gonna continue on off camera, but I'll be back.
the fire. There we go. Jiggly substance that normally comes from a fire choo choo, it consistently gives off heat. If struck, it will explode into a ball of flames. Oh, this is good. So we found some neat jellies and some screws and stuff. Looks like I have to use my stasis ability here. Oh, I also see enemies over here. So I'm gonna use my stasis ability. Uh, how do I change my stasis ability? Oh boy. So now I gotta. Now I have to run over here. Great. Uh oh. I see a big guy right there. changed my arrows, I forgot. Need to get these. I'm just gonna go for it. Dang. Arrow. That's new. That's good. They're not doing anything to harm me, per se. Need to change arrows. Ow! That dude hurt me. No, I don't need to stop time. I need to change arrows. To the bomb arrow.
I'm gonna shoot that other dude. It's still up there. What's he doing? Why can't I see him? There's no real need in shooting these guys. <clears throat> but I guess I will. So I do this. No, I do this. And no. No, daggummit. Stupid thing. Alright, so I got my bow. No, no, bow. Traveler's bow. Okay, there we go. Bow. Daggummit. I don't know how this stupid thing works. So I pick up the bow. And then I can do that. not dead. Okay. came down. Soldier's broadsword. Okay. So let's drop one of these. Oh, I can attack up to what? Oh, let's drop this. Take that. We're gonna save. <laughs> We're gonna save. It was a fun battle. It's very interesting. How does this thing operate? It's a 14. That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Alright, so here's a torch. That's a down torch. Don't need that. <clears throat> peppers. All these peppers and still nothing to cook them with. Cook them in. I wonder if I could build a fire. Yeah. So here I can cook some things. I can take the amber and mix it with the peppers and the mushrooms and cook. Maybe. Let's see what that does. Rock hard food. Nice. So let's cook the peppers with the mushrooms. Spicy fruit and mushroom grants low level cold resistance. This dish contrasts the sweetness of fruit with savoriness of mushrooms. Nice. Josh Barton went live at 9 p.m. That's interesting. Okay. What else can I cook in here? Um.
cooking this into a meal so I can hold that and then cook it into a meal <laughs> energizing honey candy stamina nice good you need to head out oh man take it easy man I hope you feel better soon and uh, you know if you need any Body to talk to or whatever, always around, man. Feel free to reach out. Okay, that was fun. What is this? So we can cook these two as well. Tasty mushroom skewer. Movement speed, yay. All right, and we can cook this with this. More fruit and mushroom, very good. What else can we cook? Probably need to eat something. So we'll eat one of those. And I don't think I have anything else to cook, really. All right, 12.45 p.m. I need to go to somewhere. Let's get our torch out. I need to go over that way. Way up there, maybe? bridge is out over here that's where I just came from but I can push that telekinesis thing I can still do that a big tower over here I wonder what that's all about let's go check out this big tower I can probably climb this big tower can I climb this? We're gonna climb this big tower. Keeping an eye on the stamina meter as we go up. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but it's fun. Just enough stamina to get there. That's why we climbed up here. Arrows! Arrows good. Let's take a look around. See what we can see. the waterfall I can probably lift that plate up over there okay there's not really a whole lot going on over there there's a little village town thing over there all right so let's just go down Kevin people are already shooting off fireworks oh my goodness you're in a drought oh man people will be people I suppose my goodness that's horrible Remember the waterfall challenge? Alright, so I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna grab my torch. I'm gonna light my torch on fire. And we're gonna go over here and try to use our telekinetic powers to build a bridge. I think I still have some wood in the inventory somewhere. Do I still have piles of wood someplace? I guess not. But I do have that goo jelly that I can strike and uh, set stuff on fire. 
All right, so I need to change my telekinesis to magnetism. Yes, activate. How do I rotate? Back over here. Eat some food. And go and light our torch again. Okay. 4.35 p.m. Let's sit here until morning. Right, let's sit there until morning and then we'll make our way across the bridge. Uh, that was the cause of the biggest fires in your area last year? Oh man, my goodness. Alright, 5 a.m. We're going across now. Whoop. I need me fire. I need me fire. Hopefully there will be a place across the way where I can make more fire. Hello, Brayden. Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out which direction I want to go. I'm not real sure. Kind of like going around the mountain. Just to see what I can see. Yes, it is my first time playing this. Well, pretty much. I mean, I've, I've played it a little bit, but I've never gotten far. At all. So, I'm new to the game. Your desktop crashed today. It's not reading the hard drive. Oh, gosh. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hey, it's saved. That's good. Okay, almost fell off of there. That's alright. Let's not fall off of there. Just like tower walls over here. Okay. After the shrine, there's a waterfall behind it. it has a tunnel with good stuff. Okay, cool. Whoops, I set those on fire. Alright, still looking out for enemies. Whoa, I hear enemies. I see enemies. Not good. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Ah, let go, buddy. It's way cold. Um, so this is gonna help me with cold. Where did those guys go? Here they are. They're up here. 
join the fight. Thank you. Need this. A seared steak. Thank you. Let's get our club back out to maintain our heat. All right, we have fire now. This is good. Probably some arrows in here, so I still have cold resistance. We'll take this. Arrows, anything? No. All right, very good. Save, because we can. That's not good. That's not... Good thing I saved. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> Oof. Yep, didn't even consider that there was water there. But I have cold resistance on. Alright, good. Very good. Let's get our heat source back. <laughs> All right, that was good. 9.25 a.m. I think we're good to go here. Marching up the hill, not going into the water. We go directly to the shrine. And it looks like Jazzy Dog is ready for a break. Coffee isn't helping me, man. I oh, know, I know. It's not. I think Jazzy Dog needs a break. How often will I stream? I stream uh, whenever I can, usually multiple times a week, usually during the night time uh, on the central standard time, uh, sometime around 8, 9, 10, 7, uh, multiple times a week. Um, just kind of depends on what's going on in my real life, you know? Yeah, I think Jazzy Dog's just about ready for a break here, so we're going to go inside here, we're going to take a coffee break, we're going to take Jazzy out to the to the oh thank you so much for your subscription uh Jaden. i appreciate that i do like playing uh, beat saber and virtual reality stuff uh scratch lottery tickets from time to time meet my dog this is jazzy hey bud bud oh jazzy boy yeah you're a good boy aren't you you're a good boy mm -hmm. he sure is Yes, thank you for your subscription, man. Hey, bud, bud. All right. He's got a bit of a cough. I think he's allergic to something. I don't know. Can you go outside? You go outside? Okay. We're going to go outside, y'all. So, I'll be back momentarily. Don't fret. It's going to be just a moment. I'm going to put up the coffee. I'll see y'all in a second, okay?
Thank you, Whip. Um, so yeah, uh, recap. I tried to show y'all Jazzy eating. Didn't work. Oops. Why did I go up? Because I don't know what I'm doing. And why did somebody dislike? Well, I don't know. But I am happy that they came and checked out the stream and made the conscious decision to hit the dislike button to show me how they really feel. So, Sheikah Slate authenticated distilling rune. Drop right onto the Nintendo Switch. I don't have any more food, bud, bud. I'm out. I'm all out. I'm all out. Cryonesis. See, Cryonis. Uh, Cryonis? Yeah. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Builds ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used on stepping stones or as obstacles. Use Cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. Alright. Ice pillars. Uh, does he need me to give you more for treats? <laughs> um, I'll go get him some more treats in, in a little bit here. Um, don't worry about that. We'll give him some treats in a little bit. Um, hello to the Ghost Squad. Good to see you. Aim outward. Alright. Uh, freeze. Can I climb on this? I can. That's kind of neat. Okay. Cool. So now I need to get over this thing. So I can aim underfoot. Ah! Oh, how nice! How nice! Oh, guardian. Alright, so we got him out of the way. What good does that do? Oh, I gotta explode now. Right. What am I supposed to do? Shatter. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. Outward and freeze. Aim. No, I don't want to aim underfoot. Okay, well, maybe I do. Aim outward. I wanted to freeze this guy. Dang, I'm just going to kill it. Torch is badly damaged. I don't think that was the way I was supposed to defeat that. But, okay. If you say so, hey, sweet. Alright, so now I need to do this and aim there. Okay. I'll go up this way. That was nice. Okay. back this way. I guess we beat it. Cool. Oh, it was the right way? Sweet. Some doggos left the building. Your resourcefulness is overcoming and overcoming this trial streak promise of a true hero. Sweet. Thank you. I get another orb. <clears throat> okay. 
more orb. Four spirit orbs. And the health. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you. And to you. And to you. Uh, mic check. One, two. Sixteen likes. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. So. Oh. Yeah. Hey there, pal. You're allergic? I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Uh -huh. Extraordinary. Nice. Mm. Finally time, Link, it's finally time for me to tell you everything, but first. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at its endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Okay. Do you understand? There are two lines connecting, the shrines are across. There I will be waiting. Yes, gotcha. Oh, Right, so it's kind of cold, so I probably need to get down here and get a torch out. Uh, it's badly damaged. I'll take it for now. Oh, and it broke. How did it break? That's not good. Uh, I need some fire, some heat food. I need some heat food. So I need to go where? I don't have any more torches, really. I just need to get off of here, first off. Whoa, that's a boulder. Hold on. Where did that boulder come from? What? Alright, so here's our map. Four shrines. That would be the Temple of Time. Pretty much. Uh, Pro Controller. So I've got like three minutes to get across this thing. Pretty much. So I can just go this way. need to do. I need to get my stamina increased. Tasty mushroom. Eat. <coughs> oh no. Now I'm getting cold. Climb, climb. Okay, okay. Come on, I can do this. Good. Fire. Alright, fire. Sit here until the morning. 
get some health, get some food. <clears throat> but why aren't I teleporting? Because I'm not smart. I don't think I can teleport there. But I can teleport there. Smart. Smart idea. You'll teleport to the warm place. I forgot all about the teleport thing. Play on Joy-Cons, don't do Pro Controller. There's this thing where you can surf with your shield and you have to hold yourself on it and press some buttons. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Okay. So, we are now here. I need to be there. So, I'm going to go... I'm going to travel over here. That's where I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go over there and I'm just going to walk it from there. I think that's a better idea. Flying in a V. That's cute. <laughs> Sean, I can say I gotta do <laughs> everything for you, but I do have to explain. <laughs> yeah, you do a lot for me. You help me out tremendously. I don't know how to play video games. I really don't. See, they're alive over there. So now we're just going to go back over here. Whoops, that was not smart, but we're okay. Up to the church we go. Change. All right, let's just say never mind, because I got to go and get the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, him. Get up here quickly, okay? Aye aye. Get up there quickly. Get up there quickly. You can do it. Oh, that's 
weird. Alright, let's find a better way to get up there. Maybe this way. This looks like a good way. Smooth climbing. That's true. <laughs> Thank you. Great fun. <sighs> what? Okay. That didn't work either. some way up there. Hey, there you go. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Where's old dude at? Young Link. Why you make me do all this? <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who hey, I Bean, truly welcome back, huh? am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. 
This coincided with ancient legends, oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away, using the power of these ancient relics. Oh, this is really good. Pretty cool. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. <laughs> he appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Luke, you're our only hope. Luke. <laughs> that princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely <clears throat> regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Mm -hmm. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control really over all four divine beasts, you want to, as well as those guardians swarming around oh, really? Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Okay, so I need to go to the waterfall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the parry letter. Thank you. <laughs> All right, isolated plateau quest complete. Fly off close and surrounding areas. That's it. Mm.
Tell you everything I can. Okay. Link. You must save Hyrule. Okay. Destroy again. <laughs> Main quest. Set out. Seek out Impa. Okay. So I need to follow the road that way, I do believe. There's a waterfall I need to go to. Alright, let's go down here. Did I already open this? A soldier's bow! Nice, inventory's full though, that's fine. Let's uh, get into the inventory. Take the traveler's bow and drop it. Take the soldier's bow. Hope Impa isn't a tent. Me too. Alright, so I should be able to fly, right? It says I can fly. Yeah. She's gonna give me something. <clears throat> Alright, do I need heart or stamina? I'm gonna go with heart. good decision knowing how I play games. Input oh, I get it. I get it. Ah. <laughs> I see what you did there. Don't need that. Um, I do need You also said something about a waterfall behind a waterfall. Yeah, uh, it took a minute. Where is this waterfall? Is it over here. That's not it. Here is this the water? No, that's the uh, this other thing. Is the waterfall over there? Or is it here? Let's travel over here and look for that waterfall.
signs of a waterfall. Oops. Up what? Oh, a boulder? I'm gonna pick up a boulder. <laughs> Does waterfall? On the edge of here. A whole bunch of nothing that I want to be a part of. the church again. So there's gotta be a waterfall around here somewhere. like a bunch of nope, nope, and hell nope. Yeah, pretty much. Little village area here. See some guys over there. They have bees. Just gonna sneak up on them. bees there, so I'm not going to mess with the things there. Not going to mess with those bees. Actually, I am going to mess with those bees. Oh! Regular arrow. I'm going to shoot the beehive. And bees will not know it's me. Hopefully. Okay, the bees know it's me. Slightly stung, that's okay. Let's take that. Already have all that. please thank you sit by the fire no, let's sit by the fire until morning let's do that we'll save our game <clears throat> uh, cooking the honey does do something it gives you like a stamina boost kind of situation I think Oh, you had to cook it in the pot. That's what it was. You had to cook it in the pot. Oh well. Um, was the waterfall way over here? Where the heck was the waterfall? Whoops, yep. Oh. 
Okay, four E's, five E's, six E's, seven E's. Was the waterfall by the bridge? It might be over here. And a K. Okay, all right. Let's put a uh, stamp there. Um, and just go that way. Mushroom in there, nice, nice. Treasure, treasure. Okay. Ooh, a warm doublet. A warm pullover, typically worn by mountain folk, gives a sturdy fabric and thick gloves. Great for retaining body heat. That's good. Let's uh, put that on. We got a book. Old Man's Diary. Ooh, let's read that link. Bit by bit, you may come to realize who I am. I am sorry for not revealing my true identity to you sooner. The truth is, after you awoke from your long slumber restoration, I did not know how to tell you all there was to say. Perhaps deceiving you is not the right thing to do. Still, you must admit I put on a great performance. But all joking aside, I must ask you a, a, a most importance. Dear hero, I implore you with all my heart to defeat Calamity Ganon and save my precious daughter Zelda. I understand this is no simple task I'm asking of you, but know beyond a shadow of doubt that you can do it. I do not doubt... It for a moment, I see courage in your eyes, just, I, uh, just as I did a hundred years ago. I believe in you, Link. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. I have left the warm doublet here as a gift of sorts. I'm sure it will be useful on your journey. You can also weather the cold with cooking alone, but I caution against it. There's no time for recklessness. We're all counting on you. Stop reading. Good night, Cheryl. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping in. Spicy peppers. <clears throat> Baked apple, mushroom, a bed. We can sleep. It's already at 6.35 a.m. We don't need to sleep. More mushroom. Oh, a pot lid. That's good. A torch. We need another torch. What is this? A farmer's pitchfork. Mm, I can get rid of this club. I'll take pitchfork. Take the apple. I have a fire arrow, so I can cook. I have that blob stuff too. What's that? I wonder if I light that on fire. Whoops. with that so no. um regular arrow and let's try the little blob stuff maybe I 
Let's hold that. Place it there. Oh, it's hurting me. Ow. That was not smart. But now we can get our torch and light this and cook things. Cook that with that. What all am I holding? Mushrooms and peppers. All right, so we're gonna cook that. <laughs> Spicy fruit and mushroom mix. Very good. can I cook? I have an apple. Cook that with one of these. Try it. See what happens. Apples and nuts seem good. Simmered fruit. Yay. Alright, so I can cook another one of these with Another one of these. What does this do? I wonder what happens if I cook those fang things. Can I cook these? Toss them in the stew with some critters. Well, I don't have any critters. Let's cook this with another spicy pepper. Just because. That was dumb. So, let's take that, hold one of those, hold one of those, and no! Nope. Hold. 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 Cook. Thank you. That's what I wanted. All right, more fruit and mushroom mix. I think I'm good on the cooking front. So let's go ahead and light this up. And I was looking for the waterfall. I think I have plenty of food, but we'll go ahead and take them. Alright, now I get my torch back out. <coughs> I'm gonna mark, uh, I'm gonna leave the plateau soon. But I am going to save. And I'm going to put a marker right here. So I know where that is. Now I'm going to head... What's this? The damn shrine. Head over to the damn shrine. Ah, why did I do that? I guess when you run, your stamina goes down, and you put away your weapon. <laughs> hey, Ducky! What's up, man? Good to see you. How's things, man? Is there any way I can just, like, teleport over here? Yeah. Let's go over here. No, this is the damn shrine. So if there's a dam, then there should be water, right? If there's a dam, there should be water. One would think. Oh, 
This isn't a dam, it's a dame. That was not the smartest thing. Alright, well, we're closer to the bridge anyway. I can't go that way. I have to go this way. And it's colder. I do have my cold resistant sweater on, but it still sucks. Alright, there's a fire. That's good. Let's climb down. Yeah, how's it going, Mr. Psycho Ducky? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Or have had, whatever the case may be. Okay, we're going over here towards this fire so we can light our torch. We have cold resistance of one, so actually we're good on torch. Waterfall. So I need to go up. It's a little colder up there. Let's see how cold it is up here on the top. Hopefully it gets better. All the way up. You can do it. Alright, temperature's still good. I still have my coat on. Okay. There's the waterfall. We're gonna go across this way. <clears throat> and then we're going to travel downwards on the other side from the waterfall. I thought there was like a path down by the waterfall. It appears as if there is. I just have to get to it. Okay. That's fine. We'll just keep on going. <clears throat> I might need to climb down to it. way oh oh I do have the glider so I'm not too terribly concerned if I fall down but uh, we'll see yeah I just got so lucky it's true my stamina looking like. Come on.
I need to change that. Thank you. I'm frozen. <laughs> Making our way towards the waterfall. Sword. Arrows, very nice. Fire arrows, very nice. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Okay, well, that's fine. What can I get rid of? Take that. <laughs> and let's see what's in here. A spiked Boku bow. Nice. Okay. Inventory's full. I don't need 14 bazillion of these. Drop that. Open this. And I'll take that. Very good. So now when I do this, I can do just keep it there. Alright. Oh. All right, waterfall fetch quest done. That's good, save. We got arrows, we got good stuff. So now I think it's time for us to head on out someplace. Let's see. We need to go that way, so. Let's go over here. I will see y'all on the flip. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, it has been brought to my attention that Jazzy needs more treats. So I'm going to go grab a Jazzy treat, and I'm going to bring it up here, and Jazzy's going to eat his treat with us. So we'll be right back, okay? I'm going to get you some treats, all right? Go, go.
Alright, let's see. Here's our jazzy. And here's this. Little good boy. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> Got one more. One more. There you go. He's such a good boy. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Brayden, you have colorful language. You're so cute. <laughs> You're a good boy, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're such a good boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, watch your little toeses. Watch your little toeses. Don't want to run them over. Anyway, well, that's unfortunate. Somebody doesn't like dogs that bad. Oh, well, some people are just destined to be sad in life. We have to be, we have to be mindful of them. People that are sad in life it must be terrible. All right, I see a village down there. That's neat. Where should we go? Um, all right, there's the the point over there that we're supposed to go to. So I'm supposed to follow a road somewhere. That was a, there was a road, is this the road? Through the Twin Mountains, where are the Twin Mountains? Smith's Calamity Ganon. I need to go way down that way, so it looks like I do need to fly off of this thing. I need to find a fire. Is there a fire inside, maybe? Whoa. Let's just glide. We'll just glide our way down here. We'll just glide, that's fine. What happened? Oh, Braden decided he wanted to, uh... So what did Braden say? Braden said, uh, gotta go. So F this piece. He was not happy with me going to grab uh, a treat to uh, give to my dog and share it with the world. It's very unfortunate that he felt that way, but he did. And we can only be sad and keep him in our thoughts and prayers that maybe one day he will find happiness and watching video games on YouTube or whatever else makes him happy in life because being happy is very important <laughs> if you're not happy then well maybe you should go do something else you don't you, you, you are hurting me Stop that. Let's find something to eat. Eat that. Eat that. And where's that fire at? Go hang out by this little fire over here until morning. Deadpool's in the room. What's up, Deadpool? Hope you're having a good, good evening. Had to look at the time zone there for a second. <laughs> All right, I've already been through that little skull area over there, so we're going through the mountains. Here we go. You love dogs. Beagle Mix Rescue. All and Jazzy is a uh, <clears throat> he's kind of a mix. Um, little terrier mix. I'm sure you've seen him before. Uh, he'll be back around. I'm um, hoping my head's a little more clear in the morning. Not a good night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Alright, I guess this is the time where we go. We leave. We leave the plateau. There's a giant down here. Let's go away from the giant. Running away from the giant. Don't want nothing to do with no giant. We are now in Hyrule. There's blobs, those are going to explode into water. Okay, choo-choo jelly, choo-choo jelly. We are now in Hyrule. 
don't want nothing to do with that thing over there. I make it through the mountains. There's a bird. There's a bird. I can probably shoot that bird with an arrow, but I'm gonna conserve my arrows. Probably make it down through there. There's a fox. I should probably be exploring this. I'm afraid I might find something I don't want though. Is there a guardian or anything in here? It's gonna let me have a free chest like that? It's not a free chest. Okay. Interesting. Let me off of here. I don't want to climb that. Outpost ruins. Hey, it saved my game for me. That's special. That's good. What's this? Rusty shield. Cool. What kind of shields do I have? Uh, probably don't want. I've got two pot lids. I can get rid of one pot lid. I'll take the rusty shield. I forgot how my shield works. Oh, that's how my shield works. There we go. Search that. I got an ancient spring. That's good. Should probably be hunting, but I really need. Oh, a spear. I have a spear. Nope, don't want that. How do you... Oh, I was supposed to throw it? Oh, well... Oops. That's okay. I have vegetables. That chest was like clickbait when it turned out to be a big fat phony. Yep. Magnesis. Magnesis? For the chest? That's probably a decent idea. That's smart. Y'all are so smart. I would never think of these things. Is it in here, I think? Uh... <laughs> Y'all are so smart. Thank you so much. Amber! Alright, so that's for crafting. Sweet. Ooh, rusty shield. I already have a shield, though. I can replace this one. No, it's a downgrade. Alright. Barrel, some boxes. Ten. Nice. I got some hunting stuff now. Tons of arrows. Apples. Acorns. Oh, yes. Just kicked the chest and he opened. <laughs> this is good. Alright. Plenty of hunting supplies now. Well, a few arrows, shall I say. Not plenty, but there's a few arrows here. Apples, arrows, times ten. Heck yeah. What's this thing? A rusty broadsword. I don't really need any rusty broadswords. I don't think. Do I need any rusty broadswords? No. I don't need any rusty broadswords. There's a sign. There's a boulder. Why are there boulders falling down? Are there things up here? I should 
probably be killing these animals. Oh boy. Okay. There's a giant. I don't want to mess with that guy. I'm out. I'm out. Nope. Thanks. Peace. Peace. I could probably take him with this. Right? I got my, my shield to block. Okay, that was easy enough. Moblin Fang. Moblin Horn. Boko Bat. That's oh, a six. Eh, I don't really need that. <clears throat> I don't really need that. That's a fox down there. Let me shoot the fox. Jelly, choo choo jelly. Got some fox meat. Very good. I'm getting the hang of this. Little bit by little bit. Uh, where are these creatures? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> there are these creatures that pop up and shoot at you. If you throw rusty items in their mouths when they pop up and clean them and throw the non rusty variants to you. Oh! Those little things? Those little, uh, um, those little, uh, blue blobs are actually helpful. Definitely gotten a lot further than I did previously. It's good. Yes. Alright, so there's a group of things down here. So I'm going to shoot an arrow at their barrel. I'm going to shoot a fire arrow at their thing. Why did it not shoot a fire arrow? Let's try the exploding arrow. Um... <laughs> doing down there It. Another soldier's bow. Inventory's full, so I can probably drop this one and collect the soldier's bow. And we're going to have that equipped, and we're good on arrows. Okay. We're gonna keep on, take the horn. Health is still looking pretty decent. The bridge over here. Across this bridge. 
see what else we can find. Alright, there are these creatures that pop up and shoot at you. If you throw the rusty items in your mouths, when they pop up, they can clean them and throw non-rusty things back to you. Alright, so I do see a dude on a thing over here. So we'll sneak up on them. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Is there a splody barrel? No, I can probably pick them off. Bow and arrow is nice. Uh, there's lots of these little thing, uh, these little encounters. Um, there's lots of these little kind, little encounter things. It's pretty neat. Um, ooh, roasted bass. Nice. Roasted bass, arrows, green rupees. Rupees. Getting pretty decent with the bow. I'm trying. Rupees is good. Raid this entire little area here. See all we can find. Arrows is good. Apples is good. Arrow times five is good. Oh, we need another bow. Apple, 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 apple. All of the apples. Very nice. Almost like they want me to roast the apples. Arrows. Ooh. Blue rupee. Five rupees. It's shiny blue facets make you weak in the knees. It says. Ooh. If you listen carefully, those things dying sound similar to the sound effect when snakes get electrocuted in Snakey Ticket Arcade Game. <laughs> Roasted bass, but the bee is silent. Oh, Brayden's back. Hello, Brayden. I'm so sorry that uh, you didn't find pleasure in whatever you were doing when you uh, decided to uh, say, forget about this place. All of the O's. You know, you were being kind of helpful there for a hot second, and then you decided to be very disrespectful. That was very, very disrespectful. But, you know, that's okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we've made it to the morning time. We're gonna go over here to this little bridge and see what we can see. Actually, you know, let's not do that. Is there a fire over here? There is a fire over here. Let's take those. And let's roast some things. You're not gonna talk. <laughs> well, you can talk. I don't care if you talk. Feel free. Take uh, two apples and two of these. Let's do three. No, I can only hold so many things. Oh, wait. I'm just roasting acorns now. I'm going to take those, but I am going to take this apple, baked apple. Thank you. Take that. Let's just bake off a bunch of apples. Four or five apples. Let's just bake off all these apples. See how many of them I can get. Baked apple, baked apple, baked apple, baked apple. I'm gonna take that. Um, <laughs> let's cook some more apples. I need a, a apple cooking pot. Uh, cook the raw meat. Yes, baked apple, baked apple, baked apple, baked apple, baked apple. And hold, 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 hold. And we'll back up and scoot right there. Cook. Baked. 
Eight, 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 eight apples. Raw meat. Hold that. Cook that. Yeah, always better in a cooking pot. I agree. Seared steak. Oh yeah. If only I had a cooking pot. But I don't have one of those right now. That's okay though. I've got plenty of food. I don't think I want this. Um, recipe? Wait, you can actually get recipes? I don't think I want this. So. I do, however, want to save my game. <clears throat> Always better in a cooking pot. I agree. I wish I knew where a cooking pot was. I'll find one. Okay, there's a bunch of little goblin type critters over there. Oh look, I found a trial thing over here. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was suspenseful. Octorok tentacle. This can only be attained from an Octorok type animal enemy. Too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valued as an ingredient for elixirs. Octo balloon. Inflatable Octorok organ has a lot to lift. Uh, so attach it to items you want to see float. Hold it in your hands and then place it on an object to attach it. That's cool. More things are shooting at me. Room. Oh. That must be the thing that could, um, you can throw things at it and it can take your Hyrule Bass. Nice. Octorok Eyeball. Okay. Um. Let's say something here. Oh, oh yeah, the uh, the thing that you can throw the rusty counterparts at, and they will give you whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Going to try and find that thing. Where are you? Another thing. All right, there you are. How many arrows do I have? Thirty-seven. 37 arrows. Those are the ones? Okay. Let's see. If you do 5 durian fruit, it makes a dish that does full recovery plus 20 hearts. Ooh, I need to find some durian fruit then. I guess. Going along in the woods. Kind of 
looks like a path, sort of. Found a mushroom. That's nice. There's another little animal over there. Alright, so we avoided the, the things. That's good. There's another trial over there. Ooh, there's a person on a horse. And there's a bridge. I see a trial over there. Um, kind of need to mark that with something, I think. Having the high ground over here. Whoa. Choo choo jelly, choo choo jelly. Alright, there's an interesting looking tree. Oh. Hi. One come all. You look funny. You look funny. Hey, I don't believe it. I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me Ashley. Let's just stick with Beetle. But if you ever forget my face, you can just remember my beetle-shaped backpack. Wow! Despite all these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not <laughs> Beetle. I also buy all, I, all sorts of things if you're in need of rupees, gemstones, or particular. I'll uh, fetch a high price. What have you got? Uh, let's see, never mind. We've got 12 green rupees. Um, so I can buy arrows. I don't want any of those, I don't think. <laughs> arrows, arrows. Insulating compound. I don't want to sell anything. Alright, that's great. Good for you. <clears throat> See a dude on a horse down there. <laughs> Did he just like totally disappear? He's like, I'm out. Totally gone. No trace. Can I have your horse? <laughs> hey. Soon. Horse. We now have a horse. We have a horse. I get off the horse. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's how I get off the horse. Is the horse gonna stay there? I wanna see what's up here. I 
surely there's got to be something good way up here. No, not really. Okay, so I need to go across that bridge over there is what it looks like. Okay. Stand. I agree. Riding a horse. I'm just riding a horse. That doesn't look great. That doesn't look great. Let's go the other way. Stuck the landing and didn't crush it, Twitch. <laughs> nope. That's headed somewhere I don't necessarily feel like going to. So let's go this way. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Just walk. Is that another skull? That looks like another skull. Take that, whatever that is. That dude's trying to hurt me. So I'm just gonna run up here and take him out. All right, soldier's broadsword. It's badly damaged. I need to feed the horse at some point. Okay. kind of thing. Is that one of Bo's goats? <laughs> Could be. Shock arrow. Cool. Those are new. Oh, little spikes on the ground. What's up with that? Okay, there's my horse. Let's go pick up some uh, arrows. Ooh, a phrenic bow. 
Mm, concentrating before drawing. Oh, cool. Let's get rid of some bows. This one is badly damaged, so we'll drop it. We'll take that. Thank you. There should be some arrows around here. I don't need that. I know I dropped plenty of arrows, or I shot plenty of arrows. Right here. All these Kessa mobs are spawning. Spear. Let's see, I'm gonna drop this. I'm going to equip this. And I'll take, take the spear. See if I can find any arrows that I've dropped. Oh, arrow. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright, so we need to go this way. Yeah. Let's go this way. Huh. It's night time. We really need to find a campfire. I think I see some smoke up here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. Who are you? Who are you? So much to worry about. Okay. Worried about my safety. See, I know too much about Castle Hyrule specifically. This is name, this guy's name is Rick. See, there's a secret west passage you use to sneak in. I've heard there's treasure inside too. Interesting. There's a way in Hyrule Castle through the west passage. There's treasure. Okay. Come here, horsey. Let's go. Got plenty of food. I'm not gonna worry too much about that goat. I'll make a casual journey across the plain. Just a casual horse ride. Not you. Take it easy, bro. I'll see you the next time. My face cam was turned off. And now it is back. So I'm coming up on something down in here. Let's, uh, let's just load this guy and save. 
Save progress. Bye, Brayden, if you're leaving. If not, awesome. Going down into a village thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kakarino Village, this is where we're supposed to be. Can I climb this thing? There's shinies up there. There's a bow and arrow up there. Can I climb this? Can I climb this? Arrows! Nice. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Let's take our horse in town. Alright, have a good one. A nice, casual horse ride through the village. Nothing to see here, folks. I hope that you don't hurt me. What are you... What are you doing that for? Hello? I'll talk to you. Hiya, hiya. Hello? Don't hurt me. Hello? Talk. Yes. Hmm. This is Steen. Do you need something? I haven't seen you around here before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Ah, ah yes, I remember now. It was a long time ago when the calamity hit, but it looks... But you just you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop him. That was me. Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back then? Yes, I am. <laughs> Young people <laughs> these days sure do like their jokes. Don't they, Brayden? They sure do like their jokes. Uh, if you really were that noble swordsman, you really you'd have the legendary blade, that sword that seals the darkness. You see, that thing about the swordsman is he trained with swift carrots instead of a blade, okay? He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots, too. That's why my grandfather always used to say, anyway. <laughs> so, I suggest you stop joking around all the time and instead have a carrot and try to be more like the swordsman. I got a swift carrot. This carrot is cultivated extensively in Kakariko Village. It strengthens the legs and hips when cooked into a dish, which helps in increase movement and speed. Looking for carrots so I can buy some at the shop. If you want to be strong like that legendary swordsman, I surely don't mind lending a hand. Alright, is there some place I can tie up my horse? Is there somewhere I can tie up my horse? Can I tie my horse to this pole? Will you stay there? What are y'all up to? You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? Yes, but that would mean you are. No, it's not possible. Can it be? <laughs> Whatever, dude. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead. Step inside. Thank you very much. I'm going to take your apple, and I'm going to take your apple, and I'm going to take your apple, and I'm going to take all of your apples. That's right. That's right. I'm going to take all of your apples. Here's the carrot shop over here. Here's something. What is this? Oh. Throw! Eat! Eat! 
Where's my horse? Oh, 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 sweet horse of mine. Are you gonna stay over here in the village? Are you gonna be a good horse? That's the prayer thingy. Maybe I should go and buy... Ooh, carrots! No, that's a pot lid. Okay. By the way, put apple in every tray of the frog. Okay. Tray of the frog. I shall eventually find a tray of the frog. Gut butter! 12 rupees. 80. Too expensive. Swift carrot, 16. Too expensive. Bird eggs, too expensive. Old woman. Hi. Hello, weary traveler. Welcome to the village. Uh, let's see, this is Trissa. Healthy, healthy things, fruits and vegetables. Um, see ya. All right, let's let me out of here. I. This is fun and all, but and it's for a carrot seed. Okay. Apple and the tray of the frog. As soon as I find a tray of the frog, I will do just that. There's my horse. My horse seems happy over there. I wish there was a way that I could tie up my horse so that my horse didn't run away. Maybe that'll come eventually. Um, it's on in the village, so let's just go and see. Put an apple in each tray of the frog. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So drop. I found you. Huh. You're not Hestu, but you can see me. Yes. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. A Karak seed. The small seed was given to you by Karak. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. Cool. Oh, my friends are hiding in lots of different places. Don't be shy poking noses in suspicious places. Oh, well, thank you. That was fun. So, um... Tweehee. If I take the apple, I can just take them back. And now I have a correct seed or something? Yeah. Interesting. Cool. Let's save our game. Because saving is fun. I'm going to turn off the face cam because there's a cutscene coming up. And we'll see if Raiden sticks around or if he disappears again. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you 
remember me, don't you? So basically it was, come on in, sorry you lost your memory, do you remember me, all this good stuff. All that matters not, in fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Blank, please come a bit closer. She remembers him, but he doesn't remember her. That's what's going on here. A hundred years ago, yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. This sounds familiar. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her feet, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver this message. She's old. She's old. However... These words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you were to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid the burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I'll leave the choice to you when you feel you're ready to receive the princess's message. Return to me. But. Um. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> To you too, old lady. Mic check one two. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward, with only courage and justice on your side. You've not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 oh, years ago. Yeah. Haunted house music. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. Mm -hmm. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. So, a boatload of Guardians. Man. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional oh, skill beings. from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Whoa, if they died, then maybe I don't... Forced. Maybe that was the thing that I saw. Yeah. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. 
big war. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Okay. Oh. Hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Oh. But in the end, despite our, effort, our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated her power. In order to avoid ever making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts! That's what she said. Let's act dumb. She just gives us some backstory about who controlled them. Um, let's see, it would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you must infiltrate the divine beast that were stolen hundred or er, stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Okay. Alright. Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Oh boy. Okay. Seems to me that your Sheikah Slate's not complete. The device Princess Zelda left you as your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Alright, Hateno Village. This Hyrule. I mean, Hateno Village, that sounds familiar. Was that in another Zelda game, Hateno Village? Um, <clears throat> the location shining on the eastern edge. So the eastern edge. You're, you're Princess Leia's only hope. Follow your heart, seize your destiny, seek out Impa. Complete. All right. Well, I'm gonna snoop around your house because that's what we do here. Snoop around your house. You got here. You got anything to sleep in your bed? Oh, I can't sleep in your bed. Oh, there's a book. Pia's diary. She just started writing in it. Grandmother says she's conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pearl hundred years ago. Uh oh, I got caught. <laughs> they decided to put a lone swordsman into a long sleeve, so as to prepare for a time was foretold in legends. Uh, Link, yeah. Fole. Yo, what's up? Hardest one is very fast lightning divine beast that made you die 25 times. Nice. That's uh, something I'm looking forward to. A nice challenge. Uh, since then, grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time. I too pray that he awakens soon for the sake of Hyrule and for grandmother's sake as well. What you doing, Pura? Paya? Whatever your name is. But please don't frighten me like that. Do you need something from me? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? I'm just jotting down some thoughts for just my boring daily affairs. Really, that's that's all. That's it. Uh-huh. Sure. Is that okay? Aren't you tired? Oh, what you doing, Link? What you doing? Aren't you tired, baby? I'm in your bedroom. What, aren't you tired? You want to go take a nap? I'll leave. <laughs> Oh, I'm saying to the upkeep of the heirloom. Oh, really? Uh, my grandmother's stead paying tribute to our guardian deity. I spent hours praying since no disaster falls on the house. La 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 la. What's on your face? <laughs> what? There's something on my face. What are you speaking of? Oh, you're the crest. Yes. Talisman for Sheikah wards off evil. Crest. On skin to ward off evil for something. Is that okay? Goodbye. Peace out. Yeah, I should sleep. I should probably sleep. You, you let me sleep in here? No? 
Rude. What's this? Oh. She can heirloom request that you do not touch it. Sure. Right. Can I touch it now? Yeah. Can't touch it. Still can't touch it. Alright, that's fine. More books. Journal of Various Worries. First page. Well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said was, what's more important, the cuckoos or me? I chose the cuckoos. The Bowmaster. A painter unfamiliar to any of us has arrived in the village. He claims he is searching for the Great Fairy's Fountain, but that's near where the village spirit protector resides. We must make sure outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain or two shrines near it. Okay. That new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by the way and knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. What? 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 <laughs> Hold on. Gotta read this again. The new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by and knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. Lonely arrow girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> day in, day out. I'm outside barking people into the shop. I don't mind, really. It's good money, and I keep myself busy to help numb the pain. <laughs> Stupid autocorrect. Anyone, every, any one of those divine beasts are a pain. Oh, no. Uh, but the only thing that helps me feel better is walking around amongst the fireflies, unfortunately. And we've now been asked to not walk around at night because it's dangerous. I know the feeling. Ah, uh, struggling shop girl. Precious heirloom that's been passed down through my family for generations recently. Uh, I've begun to hear voices telling me that the heirloom has an important destiny. I'm going to, it's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous, but I can feel it in my bones. Papaya. Alright, I think we're done here. Stop reading. How cute. There's a chicken by the fire. Where's my horse? Is my horse going? Yeah, it's nighttime. I guess my horse decided to peace out on me. He was like, F this. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Hmm, are you? Sorry to bother you, but you're a fellow traveler. As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes just between you and me. I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Aesthetics aside, they also say this place can be so kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. Okay. These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. Uh -huh. But I won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find out anything, I'm sure to let you know. Okay. Thanks. Pick and go. Pick and go. Pick and go. Alright, so I guess my horse is gone. Um, so. Like a little Japanese village. New clothes, new outfits. What you got in here? I don't have enough money to buy anything. Our clothes are the tops. I bet they are. Welcome to Enchanted, my high end boutique. This is Clarie. Uh, by the way, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price, but extra stealth. Yeah, all this stuff is extremely expensive. I do not have enough rupees for any of these things. So, my horse has gone. What's in here? Ooh. Bows and chickens. In a bed. And a little farming plot. Oh, that's to put the chickens. 
No, it won't let me have the bows. Okay. Hi. New clothes, new outfits. I love the morning light. Yeah. Bug it. <laughs> it's bug it. I hear a strange fountain. There's my horse. There's my horse. Already answered that, but uh, it is nighttime. Welcome, thank you. Hey. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Young folks don't have much use for a bow. It's a thrill to see you. Hey, this is the crazy bow lady. Oh. Yeah. Oh, poor lady. Sell some ore. Okay. Fire arrows. Yeah, I don't have enough uh, for any of this. Just buy single arrows. You have any books I can read? Any books? I'm playing this Zelda on easy mode. Is there a way to change difficulties on this game? I was unaware of that. Pretty cool. been in here. Okay. So there's an inn over there. There's a pot lid right there. Oh, it's a mod. Oh, okay. I've got plenty of food. I've already been up there. What are you? Okay. Peace out. Oh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, thank you so much, dude. You're amazing, man. Thank you so much, Jesse. I gotta see. I got to see. What does it say? What does it say? Thank you so much, man. You were amazing. Anybody that's just watching or wants to uh, financially support the channel, man, y'all are great. Thank you so much. This says, Here are some jokes at the expense of my Minnesota Vikings. What do the Minnesota Vikings and a car in the junkyard have in common? Neither one have won a title. <laughs> um, why doesn't the NFL give Iowa a professional football team? Because then Minnesota would want one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jesse. You're amazing, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh... Uh, it is 1.33 a.m. It is. We're gonna keep the Hulkamanias. No, we're not. We're gonna go with some Ultimate Warrior Pink. So we'll do some Ultimate Warrior Pink. I'll put a couple of smiley faces on the board for you, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jesse. Right there, Jesse K. Of course, everybody on the board. Remember the channel Jesse's going on, uh, what, 15, 18 months? I don't know. Gosh, Lord. Huge supporter of the channel. As is everybody here. Oh, we're all amazing. Hey, there's a bonsai. <laughs> They're getting big. Plus some blessing and dirt. Okay. Okay, harmony. This is very Japanese. This is very, like, Japanese. I, I really like this. This is really cool. There's another chicken. Grow big and strong. They're carrots. Ah! Swift carrots. They sure are. Aren't they, though? Grew these beauties there yourself. Oh, not really. <laughs> uh oh, Dumbs is fighting words. So, cooking tips. Oh. Alright, swift carrots, that's great. Ok, 
Okay, yeah. All right, let's go. Old Codger, yeah. Old man fiddling around the field beyond the stream. Uh, two of us have been odds and ages. Josh goes on and on about the best offense, good defense, doesn't make any sense. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. All right. Leave. Shush. Running around the village here, because it's fun. Something I probably don't need. It's a hoe. What? I can pick up the chicken? Huh! <laughs> I can throw the chicken! That's wonderful. Who lives here? Very Japanese. Chicken techno. I'm in Tootin' Chicken techno. Oh, frogs. You said something about frogs earlier. Oh, the trays. Master Link, uh, don't look surprised. Sheikah Slate, mentor, mentor, yes. Research Center. Okay, so I gotta go find the mentor now. However, um, just know that this mentor mine's a bit odd. Alright, thanks. Tree branch, don't need a tree branch. Never could find the last chicken in the village to get something. Oh, I need to find chickens in the village to get something. It's good to know. Keep that in mind. I'm just running. Probably could have taken a horse. Probably could have. How far away? That's pretty far away. I think I'm gonna take a horse. Hello, horse. I think I would have been there by now. Oh, man. Just gonna go for a casual horse ride. Just a casual horse ride through the village, don't mind me. Casual stroll with my horse. OK, 
go check B Saber. <laughs> oh man. Oh, my horse is supposed to come when I whistle? What's this? This is like ore or something. Flint! Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. The portable fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long lasting flame if you use it near firewood. Good to know. Alright, horse, let's go. Go for a little stroll. That isn't your horse, but it will when you enter it into a stable. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I just randomly picked up the horse. What's that? Whoops. Badly damaged bronze. Why did I do that? Some kind of telekinesis something? I don't know what I need that for. Let's get a broadsword back out. No, I guess I need to find a stable. It's the horse that I've been riding, so I call it mine, even though it's not. We're just gonna go for a little walk. A little stroll. buddy. No, I All shot right. it off of a, uh, an enemy. Got a question. Are you much of a mountain climber? I was back when I was your age. Nothing gets me like going to the side of a treacherous cliff during, during to climb it. I'm selling a few things. What do you have? Ooh. Nothing that I can buy. Alright. No. No. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah. Yes. Thanks. Bye. Yep. Let's go. Passageway. Oh, oh. Hey. Get me out of here. Hey. fight, but I got it. Hopefully, block slash should be resuming probably this week, depending on your schedule, Sean. I'm seeing promising info on BSMG. Mods supposedly are up, but more tweaks in MA. Okay, so there's this big thing over here that I should probably shoot. Um, I've got my, uh, I've got my game on no update mode, so I, I, in theory, should be able to play it anytime I want to. Uh, this is Hestu. Uh, the monster stole his maracas. 
on the other side of those rocks. Can't use my powers without them. Please get my maracas back. Alright. I would love to help you with your maracas. But first, I need to find where... Number one, my horse is. And number two, where all of those... Things that I just killed... Were... Their little stashes. It's like a defective pineapple. <laughs> I think my horse might be gone. So this is where the maracas should be, hopefully. Hey, there's my horse. <laughs> Yay! Are these uh, maracas? Yes, they are. Yep. Alright, let's go. Actually, let's ho wait up. Let's uh, slice this over. Sledgehammer is badly damaged. That's wonderful. What should I change it to? I need to find some new weapons. If they are supposed to be cicadas, they're not quite right, but it might it might just be like crickets. It might be crickets chirping. Found your maracas. Yes. Shalaka! But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? If you had one Korok seed, you could sing, dance, and use your powers. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes. Make my inventory bigger. Hmm. Weapon stash. Weapon stash has been expanded. Thank you. Be here for a little while. All right, push. Let me go and pick up this other stick. City, what's up, dude? Good to see you, bro. How's it going, man? Right, I don't think we can go this way, can we? Let's just take a look. Alright, there's plenty of shinies over there. I could climb down. I don't want to. Ooh, there's something over there. Probably get to. So I need to ride the horse the other way. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Come on. Go. 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 Dumb horse. That way. Go.
They didn't have good rating? What? Villages down here. So this is like totally going in the wrong direction. Well, that was weird. That was very odd. There's lots of stuff around here. I mean, there is lots of stuff around here. I don't want to go here, though. I really think I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to... I need to be heading back to the village. It's one o'clock in the morning, according to game time. I'm headed away from the objective. Let's go back to the village. See what we can find. Maybe find a different way out of the village? Almost 2 a.m. in real time, yeah. trial here, or a shrine here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There's a shrine here.
The big bees in the house. What up? Hello, hello. Okay. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Tola Nog. I share with you something. My knowledge. Tola Nog Shrine. All right. Let's see a chest. Shield of the Mind's Eye. A small Sheikah made shield as design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. We need shield space, eh? <clears throat> I seriously have a five and a half pound dog trying to push you out of your king size bed and he's close to success. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> I know the feeling. Let's equip this. Nice shield. It's a dog's world, we just live in it. Uh oh. Use a side hop to avoid enemies' attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Target enemy, and then strafe, and then jump. Okay, so target enemy, strafe, jump. Target enemy, strafe, jump. What? Sledgehammer is badly damaged. Do a backflow? To avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Back flip, back and jump. Okay. Ah. Target, back flip, jump. Okay. Flurry <laughs> rush. That's gonna break my sledgehammer. It's fine. Repel an attack if you parry with your shield. Alright. So now I need a new weapon. Perfect guard. Ready shield and parry. I need a weapon first. a charge attack okay charge attack okay okay never finished all of the shrines I've always been taught to respect my elders and he's like nine human years which in dog years makes him older than yours <laughs> all right so these are all done uh, one day you'll have a pup of your own. Until then, you'll just spoil everyone else's, including Jazzy. Aww. Guardian Sword. Ooh, a sword often wielded by Guardian Scouts. This blue energy blade is a product of ancient technology. It's not very durable. Oh, man. Ancient gear, ancient spring. Treasure. An opal ore. Nice. I can sell that to a shop and get something in return, hopefully. Is there anything over there? Doesn't really look like it. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Triumph over the test of strength subverts the prophecy of ruin from the ashes of Hyrule. A hero rises. Okay. In the name of the goddess Halea, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Thank you. Thanks. Spirit orb. Yay. Another shrine done. Dave Batista is quitting Guardians? Oh no. That sucks. Oh no, it's gonna spit me back out in my horse. Where's it? okay, my horse is my horse will be here. My horse will be here. Where's my horse? Xenoblade Chronicles 2. What? What? In collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge, the eastern sky from the left skull's eye, the southern sky to the peak of the tall, pierce the snowy mountain, look to the night sky at these locations, and find the red shooting stars? What? All right, here's my horse. Welcome back. So I'm going this way. And I ran into the shrine. So now can I go up this way, maybe? Looks like there's a river over here. What's this? Blue nightshade. Cook it for stealth. Alright. What's all this? Is this the fairy thing? What is this? This looks dangerous. Whatever this is. Blue nightshade, more blue nightshade. There's a ton of this stuff over here. <laughs> Silent princess, lovely flower growing in the wild, okay. is kind of becoming a burden. Oh, blue night shade. Thank you. Horse. Horse. Where's my horse? Is my horse going? My horse peace out on me again. Probably. Let's go find this horse. There she is. Oh yeah, whistle. But it's not my horse. We'll find out eventually. We'll just follow the path for now. See what we can get into. No engine in the front electric F-150 is a trunk, plus you can use the trunk as a generator if the power goes out, that's cool. Alright, so we're keeping on through here. I see some ore up ahead. I'm gonna hop off and grab this ore. Oh, that's no good. 
Uh, don't think I have a, um, I broke my spear. Uh, let's see, what can I use here? I'll take the opal. Gotta use this, unfortunately. I also need to go and take care of, as Kevin would say, my own personal stream. <laughs> I'll be right back. Thinking horse, go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, electric vehicles. I I had a I my mom's Prius five or whatever it was for a while. Prius V five, I guess it's a five. Westgate. Um, and yeah, it it just doesn't seem like you know, two hundred mile range or something. That's not all that great. If that's what it is, I don't know. Oh. Hi. Both sword and bow. Yiga clan. Um, sure. Why not? Aww. You don't know. Fine. Okay. <laughs> I will take your life. I don't want that. I don't want that. Can you give me a banana? 
A sickle. Okay. I got bananas. Mighty bananas. And some rupees. Ooh. Lots of rupees. Nice. Come here, horse. Let's go. This way, horse. Go. Alright, here is a big archway. <clears throat> might actually be heading in the proper direction. I'll take that. I'm gonna do something silly and look down. Alright, it's fine. Let's mount the horse again from the wrong side. I think that's the wrong side. 10,000 pound camper and guarantee a power wheel truck with a DeWalt drill battery mod won't pull it for crap. I'll destroy stuff. Oh, you jerk. Okay. Goblin guts. Let's get one of my arrows. Yep, thank you. Probably smash these open with something. Arrow. Thank you. Rupees. That's good. Iron sledgehammer broke, that's fine. What's this? Blackened crab, roasted in its shell. Very nice. I'll take this club, take this arrow. No. That's not gonna break that. Um, I can use telekinesis though. And do the whole bomb thing maybe? Did that give me some rupees? Yeah. One rupee there. Got some crab. And another purple rupee. Ooh. That's nice. I want this type of bomb, but that's okay. Um all right, horsey, come on. You gotta come with me. So here's an arrow. Here is a melee weapon. Right. And my 
sickle is badly damaged. That sucks. Let's get rid of this. Let's just get rid of that and take that. Alright. No, Braden. Still not daytime. pitchfork and pick up the spear yeah pitchfork I'm gonna take the pitchfork instead all right so let's drop this take that and grab this all right <clears throat> come here horse you're annoying Chest. What's in here? Shock arrows times ten. Jesse, you were gonna get rolled over, bud. You were gonna get rolled over if you stay there. Okay, can I take my horse on this boat? I don't think I can. Take what? Oh, a river snail. That's neat. Alright, lots of enemies out there. That's not good. That's not great. across the river. Nice. Alright, there's things ahead, that's fine. Let's just go. Not worry about them. Uh oh. 
Nope. Nope. I'm not gonna worry about y'all. I'm just gonna keep on going. Same with you. Hmm. <laughs> He's going to stay there. Alright, that's cool. That's good. Oh, that just kind of showed up and then went away. That's all this stuff. Spicy peppers. Nice. Abruptly. <laughs> that was abrupt. Huh. East Gate. This is where I'm supposed to be. Peppers. Hey, Mrs. B. How are you? Much better night. Very good. Very good. I'm making way too much noise. There we go. I'm just going to sneak very slowly way over here. Away from this guy. I see that blue mushroom and I want it. Be very quiet. Don't let it hear me. Don't let it see me. Silent mushroom. Nice. Alright, let's go. Very quietly. Firefly! I got fireflies! Iron shroom. Okay. I got fireflies. There's a turtle back here, too. Right, very slowly. I ditched the horse. Where's that dude at? Okay, he's way back over there. Alright, I'm getting up and I'm running. I'm running for it. Save in just a second. Up. Up. Alright. Save. I don't know what that is. Cool Cephalina. Medicinal plant glitters in high elevations, much as mountains. Okay. When cooked. 
Alright, so it's kind of cold. So we need to get out of here. It's become very cold. So now we are warm. But we have... Uh-oh. We have... Suspicion arisen. By that dude. is a giant. Alright, it's very cold up here, so... Hmm. I don't have any firewood. over here. I can eat some heat food. Alright, let's eat that. Cold resistance for three minutes. Let's go. How far away am I? Not too far away. We are running, folks. Wonder if there's a place where I can set up camp. Light something on fire. Cool looking mushrooms, are these? Chill shroom. Cook dishes and stay warm. It's good. Alright, so I'm just headed straight for the thing over here. That is a fox. Alright, two minutes. That was a wolf, not a fox. where I'm supposed to go. Up here. I don't think this is going to end very well. Straight to the top of this thing. Oh, come on. You're so close. Car manager app consume less than your goal of calories while you're done logging. The dancing avocado throws confetti. That's cute. Oh, 30 seconds. to climb this mountain seriously 21 seconds twelve seconds nine seconds all right cold resistant food eat it three minutes I'm getting close Oh. I don't need any of this stuff. 
Let me out of here. What killed me? What the heck killed me? What the heck killed me? That wasn't cool. Guts to make it over here to wherever I'm going. Two minutes. Oh no, man. Seven. Minute nineteen. Oh, I see not cold climate. I see not cold climate. I also see arrows flying in my general direction. Not cool. I do need some armor, that's for sure. There's some windmills. I'm not sure if I did the right thing or not, but we did the thing. I would like to climb down. <laughs> slide okay we've made it somewhere to Hateno Vintage. Yay! We did it. We made it. Just barely, but we made it. Hello. What are you up at 3.45 a.m. for? Oi. Nice evening. Mm -hmm. Aren't you some kind of wanderer? Yes. This could work out. You look handy with a bow. Yeah, I'll help you out. Hunt some deer. Alright. 
All right, that's a side quest. I should be going. No, I don't want to do that. I need some armor, though. They'll pay. They'll all pay. Won't lie. Hey, you. Yes. What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. Harmless enough, forgive me, on the edge, all these monsters. They come up from Hatano Beach to steal your sheep. Oh no! The sheep rustlers. Oh, sheep rustlers. I need that apple. I need all of these apples. I need to... I need to cook up some food. I need a freaking apple, thank you. There's a stool. Just abandon the horse. That's fine. Ah. Hello and good morning. The night wind is cold. What's it look like? I'm watching the windmills. Alright. I'm a traveler. Hmm. That guy's name is Rhodes. I guess I'm gonna go to this, whatever this is, and say hi, and then I'll figure out whatever I need to do from there. <clears throat> I have to climb the mountain, for real? Tech Lab, that's where we're going. No soliciting. Lab. Enter at your own risk. Tech Lab. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not tur touch Carson the Claws. What's up, dude? How you doing, bro? What brings you around to these parts at 3 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Hello. Good morning, Pura. This is the Hatana Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business in your director? I do. I do. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. He's trying to keep it brief. Okay. I. Mmm. Simmon. Good morning. I imagine you've never seen so many books. Pretty incredible. Yeah, we've gathered all the Hyrule's known literature. Okay. So he's made a library. As far as the actual number of books, well, hmm. Is that that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? No mistaking it. It's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? Yes, I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just throw me the runes on it, I'd be most... Show me the runes. Okay, sure. Stasis. Ah, Magnesis. Yes, yes. The remote bomb and cryonysis, whatever it's called. Uh, what else? Let's see. Let's see. That's it for runes, but... Hmm. Strange. You're gonna give me my memories back, man. I need basic runes. Oh, okay. I really forgot to introduce myself. Simon. Okay. You are Link. Yes. 
<laughs> Lady Impa caught me up to speed. Oh, they got cell phones? <laughs> I mean, uh, as you see, we're told a young man holding a sheik slave will appear. You know, must do all you can to help him. Uh, see, he will be the one hope <laughs> that awakens from the slumber of restoration link. Oh dear, forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Mr. Director, this is the real Sheikah Slate director. That's right, I have a hundred I haven't introduced our director. Please. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hatano Ancient Tech Lab Director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Okay. Check it. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl, but well, maybe it's not my place to tell you these things. Just take it. Oh, I'm being catfished. Uh, you're, you're, you got a beard. You look like Morimoto. Kind of. You're, I'm being catfished by you. The directory is me, snappy snap anyway. Remember in your dreams. You don't look like you changed a bit. Something must have happened and all that. I keep hearing this. I'm just happy you're still in one place. Linky, what's with that look? I don't remember you. No, don't be shocked. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though 100 years ago, it took you to try and resurrection after climbing Ganon, fatally wounded you. Even though now I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration, despite all that, I just don't know. No, I don't. As expected. Um, just lost all your memories. Noted, yes. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logistical, logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is. I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs, but the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist that you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. You're here after 100 years. Defeat Calamity Ganon. He's getting more powerful every minute. Rescue Zelda. That is, if you got the courage, help me find one true hero. Restore basic functions. Yay. And what do you say? Yes. No. 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 I. Yes. Run an errand. Oh, gosh. What? <laughs> yes, I thought that you were going to fix it for free, and now I'm getting smacked around. Post slumber restoration, yada yada yada. Okay, Aaron. Unlit furnace. Blue flame from the ancient furnace in town. Guidance stone will start working. Okay. Huh, I wonder if young men these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, then I'm counting on you for the blue flag. Snap. No. Entrance of the house. Nice. There is a torch at the entrance to the house. Here's the torch. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I need to get rid of probably the sickle. Take the torch and that's uh, where the Sheikah Slate goes. Now, where are the stairs? Here they are.
break. How do I get up there? the expo, but you're so tired you didn't think about it until later. Yeah. Now it says open. Diary? Is there a diary in here? No diary in here. <laughs> Let go of the thing. Open. Diary. Research diary for anti-aging rune. Classified for Pura's eyes only. Date. Don't know. Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If it all goes to plan, I believe it will be an effective reverse the aging process. Technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity, Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our offense will be solid. Our defense will be impenetrable. The need for this tech, or the need for this tech, pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. Date. Beta version is complete. Added it to Sheikah Slate. Made it myself. Uh, since I'm to be the test subject of this experiment, Simon booted up the rune and directed it to raise it my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into fever, forcing me to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow, I will try to figure out what went awry. Anti-aging day two. My extreme full-body fatigue has slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not recognize the face in the mirror. My hair is thick again and floor length. My wrinkles, once deep as trenches, have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning, I kicked Simon awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. My height, my weight, my vision, my bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could, pushing the facility to its limit. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a chic woman in her early 50s. In other words, I reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. Wow. I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Day 3. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon awaking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. Um, let's see, 30 years old. I was around that age when I first started to continue my research with Great Calamity. Uh, the first thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. It was around, I was around 80 years old when the expansion was completed and I intended to bequeath this tech to our sleeping hero. Yeah, it is. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of the calamity that swallowed the princess Zelda whole. Next page. Jeez. Day four. After today's routine physical, the results show that I have a body in your 20s. All right. Uh, I haven't felt this good in a century all this time. All This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. 
Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years, perhaps his power had been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. Destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything we lost. A young man named Link was brought to me by 100 years ago. Covered in wounds on death's doorstep. Link, so young, so courageous. He was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. He was also gifted a, a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Gin in inglorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and Ashika researchers have had a strong bond. Their plan is our own. Their pain is our own. Uh, we took the swordsman and the Sheikah slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the Slumber of Resurrection not yet fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. Same story. Day 5. Woke to something horrifying. A scarlet lump scarring my otherwise useful face after analyzing this monstrosity. I've come to the conclusion that it's one big pimple. Uh, the results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted for running my blood test for me. I mean, really, what even? I can do it all by myself. In any case, I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. Blue flame and the ferments outside is growing weaker by the day. I do hope the guidance stone doesn't stop working. Day 6. My age reversal has progressed further still. Six-year-old. Height regressed, no longer reach things, super annoying, genius, blah, 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 wake up, blah, 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 blah. Six-year-old stuff. Seven day. Anti-aging has might, might have stopped. Developed it into a beta version of a rune. If successful, they can reverse the effects. Okay. Increase the output and expose it to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah Slate I made, I found that the Guidance Stone had stopped working. Blue Flame died. Ancient Furnace, too clumsy. Raining. <sighs> Stop reading. Thank goodness. Alright, there's a bunch of stuff on the wall over here. Ooh, there's a ladder up here that goes to nowhere. A ladder to nowhere. Okay. Oh, we've done that. flame somewhere. There it is. Who told you to read that anyway? <laughs> it's a good story. It's a good story. Alright, so the blue flame in Hitano Village. That's the windmill. That's the village. I think I think I see the the flute, the blue flame.
Still watching, not your laptop today. Awesome, Joe. I'm glad you're still here, man. Hope you're enjoying your night. Am I in Hitsano Village? I think I am. There's a place to cook things. Here's a spoon, a soup ladle. It's a melee weapon? That's interesting. Side quest for only that. So, where is this flame? That's not a flame that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a blue flame. No, not you. Welcome back, man. So I have like no map to speak of. I'm looking for a blue flame. A bunch of Christmas trees. Broom. Y'all know where a blue flame is? Hey. Private property, yeah. Go find the flame. She doesn't know where to quit. Yada yada yada. Yeah, go somewhere else, whatever. Yada yada yada. Apology egg. Okay. I'll take your apology egg. Thanks. Up the tall hill around there. it over there that thing huh I don't see any more uh unless it's up there that thing is the thing that reveals the map. I'm gonna walk that way. I like map reveals. So close. I 
guess I could have taken the road. It's probably what the road is there for. For me to take. Let's take the road. this guy hmm. oh boy there's a bunch of them Good. Traveler's sword, yay! I need one of those. So, what's damaged? We can drop that. Take the traveler's sword. I got a shield already. That's all right. Save. I took the road less traveled. That's true. Stupid. <laughs> I would prefer that those are not fire arrows. Thank you. Appeared. Oh, there it is. Going up the mountain. Oh, now it's raining. Goblins. <laughs> that dude just throw that other dude at me. Sounds good. Still looking for that flame. Uh, kind of. 
I uh, found this thing that I believe is going to reveal the map to me. So I'm kind of going up towards it <clears throat> to see what exactly it does. of uh, prickly spikes. What's this? Hyrule Herb! Yay! Alright, we're at Hatano Tower. Whoa! That was scary. One more. Why did that shoot? Well, maybe one more? Let's see. Is this a stopping point here? Or what is this? Maybe? little hole. I'm supposed to go through the little hole? <laughs> um. way maybe yeah that's it okay All right, cool. I think we're back on track. The longest climb. Oh, 
Oh, this is a scene you didn't hear anything. Chica <laughs> <sighs> Tower activated. Yay. Now I have a map of some variety, I think. Maybe? It glows. Scanning area. One little drop onto the Nintendo Switch. Map. Yay! Regional map extracted. Cool. Sheikah Slate updated. Additional functionality detected. Okay. Sheikah Sensor. Searching for shrines. Sensory ice when you're close to shrines you're not yet visited. If you head in the direction of the region. Okay. Cool. So there's a shrine over there. That's neat. All right, well, I have a map, kind of. <clears throat> All right, I have a map. Now I need to go find that blue flame, wherever that is. Ancient furnace in Hitano Village. Okay. Telescope thing on the map is the observatory where you take the blue flame. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've gotten the torch from the observatory. And now I need to find the blue flame in Hitano Village. I guess. So... Tano Village is over here. Yeah, all right. There's a Tano Village. Is that the blue flame? That might be the blue flame. Or is that a shrine? I don't know. That might be it. If that's the case. Those are enemies. So that's not good. Lots of enemies around here. I don't want to hear the shrine, dude. I just want to run away from the enemies. y'all I'm, I'm going I'm going to get my flame edge on Tano Village nice so there's a hill somewhere with a blue flame on it Go over here. I'm gonna get some high ground. And then I'm going to do some searching for that hill. There it is.
And I think after I take the blue flame back to the observation tower, that's going to be the end of the stream. run we are now running the Olympic torch back to the thing and I like this I can light this that's great a shrine is nearby oh. like a relay. Oh, sweet. Am I going the wrong way? Come on. Where's all the torches? Crap. I'm going the wrong way. No. I have to go way up there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going the wrong way. Oh no! And I put my torch away. That was so dumb. All right, let's go relight it. There's a thing over here. Okay. That's why you light the torches. <laughs> you don't have to go back to the start. Or death. Right, let's try this again. There we go. Two hours later. This, this thing, and then that's gonna be the end of it. Jazzy dog over there is uh, having a dream. I don't know if y'all can hear him or not. There's one later in the game that similarly figured out you can light an arrow and shoot another torch across the water. Oh, yeah, Jazzy's having a dream, man. He's, what does this guy have to say? Flame is beautiful as ever. What is Perry gonna do with this? He's, uh, He's going woof, 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 in, his, in his dream. Now that I've kind of gotten the, the feel for this, I like it. We'll be coming back to this sooner rather than later, that is for certain. No! I put away the blue flame. That was the dumbest thing. You can't run with the blue flame out either. Oh, she's 
go up the side of the thing. Dead run. <laughs> Woke up of his feet. Oh. Woke up scared of his feet running in place. I passed him. and did the whole torch thing. Daggum it! I forgot you can't run and torch at the same time. Why can't you run and torch at the same time in this game? You can't open doors. You can't run and torch. No, I have not learned anything. I have learned nothing. I passed it again. It's not up here? I'm not supposed to go up here? I thought I was supposed to go up here. Okay. supposed to light on fire let's see use it to light the lab's fern oh that thing that looks like the odyssey that thing that looks like the odyssey okay that that let go all right that I was going up to the top of the thing. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm a big dumb. Can, can I have some of this blue fire? May I please have some of your blue fire? My torch is badly damaged. How about you just give me some of that blue fire? Yo. Now what do I do? <laughs> Give me... Why won't it give me fire? Because it's raining? Is that why it won't give me fire? <laughs> you can hit me again, that's fine. What the heck? It is not raining anymore, hardly. Thank you. <laughs> it's raining still. God. Every time I hold the torch, it starts raining its butt off and blows off my torch.
doing this on purpose. I lit it off of this thing before. Stop raining now. Okay, I guess we're stopped raining now. Don't damage the torch. It was the rain. It was the rain. Furnace. Okay, travel gate. Lock mementos. Blue flames now powering. Okay, report to the director so she can repair your slave. I didn't read it. Hmm. Okay. What? Why? You're rude. Uh, did you like my guidance stone impression? Superb, right? Uh, don't young girls do mean impressions for fun? Maybe not. Oh, well. Ooh. Hey! Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. That guidance stone must be starting to react. There's nothing <laughs> mysterious about it. It's pure science. Let's see that guidance stone. Okay. Restore those runes. You give me a nice snap. Go on. Alright. Snap! Nice one. Underway, all right. Okay, now we're restoring the things. Let's do the thing. Let's go. Sheikah Slate authenticated. All right. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and album missing files confirmed. Starting repair. camera instantly render a, a visible image into a picture pictures created are saved in the album it has a useful feature that connects to Hyrule Compendium automatically registers pictures of new entities okay oh okay creatures Repair complete. Okay. So I just get more crap to deal with now. <laughs> All fixed up. Take a picture of you. the picture yes I got I, yes yes okay. 
old landscape photos, yeah. Okay. Lost memory thing, yes. I need to check with Impa. One more thing. Ancient materials. Me or Robbie at the Akella Ancient Tech Lab. Okay. Simon. She's in the village. That's not right. right so. Kikiro Village. I gotta go back to Kikiro Village. That is what that said, right? Good thing I did that shrine earlier. Probably need to go and get that world map unlocked too. Yeah, that's what, yep, exactly. I should unlock it so I get more of the map revealed. Well, I thought that was going to be more eventful than what it was. Apparently not. But we're going back over here. Going to save. I really thought that was going to be more eventful than it was. Now maybe this will get us at a decent stopping point. Maybe, hopefully. There's All right, so it's an heirloom. Okay. Here's 
Okay, could it be? This is all pointing to me again. Uh, this village. Do is ask the great fairy Katera if you remain. You know this. Those under watchful eye seek out the fairy. The green fairy, the great fairy, the green fairy. <laughs> the great fairy resides behind the shrine that overlooks the village. That's where you should seek her. You can put your trust in the great fairy. I can't think of any reason why she wouldn't be happy to help. Okay, that's good. That's great. All right, thank you, Impa. Let's talk to you. Mm. Locked memories complete. Thank you. Now then, let me see. Oh. That's this is the camera that she used a hundred years ago. Okay. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your memories. Come back here once you've tried to go at least one of those locations. Oh. Is there something else I wish to give you? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Didn't end well. Okay. A durable tech indeed. Yeah. And that is going to be a good time to stop. So, main quest. Uh, so, we have to. Princess Zelda is left behind. An album with 12 pictures in it. Travel to the places shown in these pictures may help you regain your memories of the princess. So. Looks like I just need to go. I need to do the map thing. I can do that later. Definitely do the map thing later. So I'm just gonna save my game. Uh, they are a side quest. Okay. The great fairy. Yeah. Do the great fairy. Uh, I think what I need to do is uh, go and do that. That'll unlock this region of the map for me. So yeah, I need to do that and I can unlock this region of the map and then I can go uh, find the fairy thing. I can do that. And then... Uh, Ancient materials, I'm sure I have a bunch of those. So that just goes in here, so I need to check the photo album. So the next time we play this, I'm going to go up. I'm just going to go do that right now. Let's go up here. Ooh, it's not going to let me climb it because it's wet. Okay. That's fine. 
Um, finding the Koraki let you expand your inventory space. For example, if you have extra apples, drop one in each of those plates at the shrine. I did that once. Uh, will it let me do... Whoa. Whoa. Will it let me do it more than once? If so, that would be cool. Oh, it's only once? Okay. Find a good way up there. You know what? I'm just gonna do that tomorrow. Or the next day, or whenever I come back to this. I think. Unless this is gonna let me climb it. I highly doubt it. Yeah, it's too wet. It's not gonna let me do it. By the stairs. <clears throat> yeah, all of these. Yeah, I did that. I got the little dilio here. Because it's wet. Yeah. All right. Well, everything is saying stop. <laughs> so, ooh, iron sledgehammer. Those are good to have. Oh, I, I do have room. does seem to be telling me to stop. It's only been 7 hours and 15 minutes. Only been 7 hours and 15 minutes. So I can teleport to... Teleport to the shrine. Everything is saying stop, but don't stop. Oh, you got another six hours in me? <laughs> Probably could, honestly. Could be at 945. Alright, so I'm here. And it is over there somewhere. something stupid and don't listen. Yeah, 
I know I'm being difficult. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm going back to the shrine. I'm going back to the shrine. I'm going to stand right here. And face right here. Now, which way do I go? Hands up. <laughs> Left or right from here? <clears throat> Left. 90 degrees. 90 is a quarter turn. So this way. here and a thing What's this? Uh. Okay found this Got dropped. Uh oh. Alright, so I found this little fairy circle thing. Oh. your left go up the path to hug a wall all right so I found this oh hey babe um, I have no idea never heard of it uh, let's put a stamp there to the shrine. Okay. Turn left, go up the path. So here is the, the shrine. I go left and hug a wall. Is 
This is gonna drop me off. That's gonna drop me off. So, let's try this. I can see like three of these things here. There's one way over there, there's one there, there's one there. So I'm going back down here. And I go this direction over here. And hug a wall. So this that just takes me back down into the village. Head back up the grassy path. And then stay left. Okay. No. Okay. Going back. Up. Up. Okay. Okay, so there's that. So we're gonna go up. And more left. Okay. Was not the left I was looking for. I don't understand what left I'm supposed to go to. Okay. seconds it's wild. I'm not exactly sure that we're talking about the same thing either. Shrine. Up to the grassy path. Okay, you were trying to go to the fairy fountain. I was trying to light up the map. Oh, okay. I got you. Alright, so here I am back at the shrine. I am going to. Look this way. 90 degrees left. Go up the hill, hug the wall. Ninety degrees left, up the hill. Here's the grassy hill. Straight ninety degrees. Here's a wall thing, water fountain, water fountain, a uh, what you call it, here's the grassy path, going up the hill, up the hill, we're going somewhere new, 
We're going somewhere new. This is good. Stay left. Oh, this is all good. It ain't your fault. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I think we're getting somewhere. This is new territory. Over the river and through the woods. To grandmother's house we go. Zombie meat! Mr. and Mr. Gaming Raid! What's up, dude? Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Glad y'all could be here. Thanks for the raid, Mr. and Mr. Gaming. Zombie meat, what's up, dude? Ray, but you don't know number. It's all good. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome in. Welcome in. How's y'all doing this evening? Ancient one, good to see you. Still nothing. Hi. Rufus, hello. Hello, everybody. I'm wandering around like an idiot. <laughs> uh, Dank Meme Center, what's up? Hello, hello. I've just totally lost it now. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Welcome in everybody. Thanks for coming. How y'all doing? Super Boo, Dank Meme, Super Boo, Crossfighter. I was doing good, Ancient One. Long time no see. Link, but oh dude, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the subscriptions. What's up, me lad? <laughs> this is me. Hello, hello, hello. One of the few things that I do. You about to get some sleep? Uh, let's see, have fun with Goated Switch. Awesome, thanks, man. What's going on, Sumic? Hello, hello. Oh, thanks. Uh, no, not you. I'm gonna watch that here in a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that here in a little bit. I'm gonna figure this thing out. Yeah, man. Hey, Miss and Mr. Gaming, what is going on? Cornito and your shotgun. You're here. Hello, hello. <laughs> Let's see. How y'all doing? How was y'all stream? Did everybody, uh... It's a good thing I stayed on a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> How did y'all stream go? I hope y'all did good. Hope everybody licked the stream. Appreciate all the licks on my stream. I don't have a stream flavor, unfortunately. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just wandering around like an idiot right now. <laughs> I am not tired or anything. Nothing. I have not been streaming for seven hours. I have not done any of these things. I have not. <laughs> All the jellies rolling downhill. Yay! Oh, it's been going great. I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, I kind of like Breath of the Wild now. I I couldn't get into it before. And now I've gotten off the plateau. And now I'm just wandering around like an idiot. But yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. Um, I didn't really make it off the plateau earlier. Um, the night be young in BGP land. <laughs> That's a big hill. That's a rather large hill. And this is a rather large drop-off. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, so we might as well just run for it, right? <laughs> oh, y'all going to bed, man? Oh no, what happens? Oh, uh, see, Breath of the Wild, um, went well. Doing good. Um, <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> that shotgun's gonna be infamous, Cornito. That shotgun is going to be infamous. It'll be a multi-stream shotgun. I'll refer to the shotgun, and then Kevin can refer to the shotgun. Everywhere you go, it'll be Cornita's shotgun. I don't know. Let's just wander around some more. Because it's fun. We don't need a purpose. Or anything like that. Hey, appreciate the subscription, Cornito. <laughs> Cross you out of here, man. All right, dude. See you later. Appreciate you stopping in. 
I'm just gonna go over here to this tower thing, hopefully, and unlock the map. Maybe that'll be a thing. Maybe that'll be a thing. I don't know. Oh, there's a big thing up there. There's a, a rune thing over there. So, how do I get over to the tower thing? Big waterfalls. Let's just fly. Let's just fly. Kakariko Village. Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. He mad at me. These plum trees. I've been raising them my whole life. I've grown them as my own. They're a part of me. When these trees eventually rot and fall away, so will I. That's why I painstakingly raised them with all I love, all I can muster. So as long as I'm around, there's no way I'm going to let you mess around with my plum garden. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Okay. I'm so sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm going to go and highlight everything on this map now. It's my new, new mission. I just want to highlight everything on the map. Er, show everything on the map and then maybe call it a night what other games do I stream I have a fairly uh, unhealthy habit of playing Beat Saber a lot um, so I do like playing Beat Saber uh, it's a uh, virtual reality gaming um, I've been playing uh, let's see Mario Maker 2 very 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 seldomly um I need 30 lick hype heck yeah dude I hadn't had 30 likes in a long time that would be amazing if we could get 30 likes I hadn't had 30 likes in quite some time man um way too many <laughs> yeah Resident Evil um let's see what else do I stream uh pinball effects or virtual reality pinball flat screen pinball um, <clears throat> I do lots of stuff. It's a variety gaming channel. Half-Life, uh, Halo, Quake 3. Uh, I also do Lego, um, in case, uh, in case we, uh, you missed out on that one last night. I am that guy <laughs> that, uh, likes to build Lego stuff. In fact, I've got a... a Lego right here. I got a... I got my baby Yoda right here. He's happy to see everybody as usual. Uh, and, uh, for anybody interested, my two bonsai trees are in the other room. <laughs> I do have two bonsai trees in the other room. Alright. So, I've seen... <laughs> I'm just running for it. I'm just running for this thing. I'm just running for this thing. All I want to do is just light up my world map. I just want to light up my world map. I don't know why I'm running towards this thing. It's probably the worst idea ever. How far away am I from this thing? I don't know. I'm only good on Lego kits for like two years. Yeah, I've, I've got a couple of Lego kits. I've got one or two Lego kits. Hey, my bonsai tree kind of looks like that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little bit of an unhealthy obsession with Legos and a little bit of an unhealthy obsession with Beat Saber. But Beat Saber's okay. Beat Saber fun. We are in new places here. Shrine nearby. There's a shrine nearby. Yes, I know. Let's just go ahead and complete this. 
We're not mentioning slice block. How many hours have I played slice block? Way too many. Way too many hours of slice block. I hear, I hear, yes, there is a shrine here. I know. I know. It's amazing. Alright, we're getting there. Chill. Chill. <laughs> Kimmy's like, yeah, wait. Don't harm the flowers. You're gonna be in. You're gonna be that way too. <gasps> Planted flowers around the shrine. Be careful where you step. You don't want to hurt them, do you? No. Watch out for the flowers. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Anything you say. There's a maze to get into the shrine. You kidding me? We gotta go through a maze. Get into the shrine. Poof. Peace out. Ah, I stepped on the flowers again. Oh, shut up. I'll slice block your face. Don't step on the flower. I did not step. Shut up. Shut up. Shush. <laughs> Silence. I'll swing my hammer at you. Don't push me into the flowers, man. Don't push me into the flowers, whatever you do. That's just dirty. That's just so precise. Alright, we in. Just do a shrine. Quest exclusive, decently reviewed bowling game. That's cool. Watch out for the flowers. Complete. Okay. Next. There's 30 likes. You guys are awesome. Thank y'all so much. Really do appreciate that. It's been a long time since I've had 30 likes. I really appreciate that. What's in here? I am Hilo Ralm. Okay, offer this trial. Okay, drifting. Okay. So I guess I just have to wait for another one and then just walk on it. Okay. Multiplayer would have kicked ass. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, you. you. Okay. Don't. Why did you. Huh? Yo. Yo. What's going on? Get me out of here. Is it gonna kill me in here? What? 
Huh? It's really gonna kill me in here? No. About to say that's kinda not good. That was dumb. That was dumb. Can you let me up on this thing, maybe? Maybe? No. She's gonna kill me. Alright. This was your first Zelda game, so it'll always have a special place in your heart. Aww. I don't want the camera. No. Um. Wait. No. Whatever. Stop. How do I get my other ones out? Um, runes. There we go. It won't let me use any other runes, except for that. Alright, so here's a ladder. That's good. So what am I supposed to- Oh, I'm supposed to, I guess, shoot the explosives? While they're on the other side of the thing, maybe? I don't know. supposed to go explode. That's supposed to go explode. Why does that not go explode? I mean that's why that has to go explode. Exploding arrows. How does this not work? This is the weirdest thing. I can't use can't use stasis or anything. Like what's in here? An arrow. Throw a bomb. I tried to get into the other, um... Yeah, I tried to use the magnetic thing to get the chest out of there, and I tried to find the bomb thing. And it's like, stuck on the camera. That was my first thought, that I could use the ice ability. But, um, like, I hit that, that was the, the stasis ability. But it's going directly to the camera now. So, if I go to runes... Hey, there we go. Now it lets me change. That was weird. It didn't let me change before. So, let's uh, aim on your foot. And it won't let me use that in water. Okay. See, the arrow's stuck on that thing. And I can't use any of those abilities in the water. Right. 
Come on. We can do this. Uh, what RE games have I played? Uh, I really only played, uh, Village. I have not played many of the Resident Evil games at all. Uh, that's gonna be a tough jump. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Ooh, can I actually climb this? Wow, I could actually climb that. That's amazing. Shatter that one. And let's, uh, yeah, village is awesome. Um, I've got probably one or two more sessions of that left, and uh, that'll be done. But it's a really fun game. All right, I'm gonna try. Oh, hey, cool. No, no. I should be able to get the thing now. Can I just jump over here? And then swing? <laughs> Can I use the stasis thing? Aim on your foot? No. Alright, let's try... Stasis. Magnesis. Let's do magnesis. On the chest. Nothing. It gives me nothing? Seriously? Jake. <laughs> Ice arrows. Yay. Right. That's not what I want. I want to get some moves going. And the row. No. The row. And I would like to detonate that, please. It won't work. It's key. I got it. Yep, I got it. If 
I never see another one of these again. Oh, I've got to climb up a nice thing. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get the ice thing back. Let's destroy that one. And freeze that one. Okay. We've done it! We've done it! Thank God we've done it! thingy <laughs> awesome thank you all y'all are amazing <laughs> all right may the god a smile upon you thanks appreciate that we have now done another shrine which means we have another travel point right I think that means we have another travel point. Which means... Yes. Saving. So, yes, I now have a travel point. Yay! Oh yeah, stupid flowers. Never gonna find humor in the whole Freeman thing ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so many times, shut up. I've lost count of how many times. Just so many now. Why are you so disappointed? Why are you gonna be so so like that? What don't you get? I don't get you planting flowers out here. What is your problem? Somebody get this person some medication. Or something. <laughs> this person has done lost her mind. Did she kill me? What is wrong with you? You took all of my health? Like you, Magda. You took all of my energy. You are rude. <laughs> Don't step on the flowers. Whatever you do. Step on those flowers. Magda will hurt you. Literally. She will. Okay. There's the flowers. Daggummit. Ah. Just get me away from here. I want nothing to do with this area. I want nothing to do over here. Just away. doing was trying to go find the 
the shrine thing. Not the shrine thing, the uh map reveal thing. You can do it. You can do it. All the way up. If I can get over there and get that. I'm so glad I don't find gardening therapeutic. Otherwise I'd just be as bitchy as her. You know, I can understand, I guess, but man. She didn't have to build it around a shrine, did she? Alright, we're taking a road. to avoid that thing down there for sure. You have a nice looking horse. I don't want to mess with you though. I'm just trying to walk in peace. Y'all don't need to bother me. Nobody needs to bother me. I'm perfectly happy without y'all's help. I see you over there. trying to run away. All I want is just to run away. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Where is the thing? It's on the map. We're getting close. We're getting close. That's where the beacon is. What? I came all the way over here and there's nothing. Oh my goodness. Where's the thing? Damn it. I did all of this traveling for nothing. Remember how your grandma was out of town for a while? Her instructions for maintenance of a small pond bird bath. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. Where was I headed? I was headed to that one. Headed? No. Yeah. Or was I headed to that one? They're just everywhere. There's another shrine down there. I need to find the thing that lights up the world map. Is what I need to do. The thing that lights up the world map. Holy Marathon stream. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do some shopping. See you next time, man. Have a good one. Take it easy, Cornito. Take care of your shotgun, bro. <laughs> Hope you have a good night, day, whatever this is to you. I'm, like, so far off the, uh, the beaten path here. I think I was going for that one and I got turned around somehow. That's like closer to Calamity Ganon. I don't want to go to Calamity Ganon. And then of course the the marker is like way over here. Let's go. Let's go back over here.
eight hours and three minutes. It's been a minute. Alright. We're back over here. This hill again. So I can hug this mountain. If that's what I'm supposed to do. Hug the wall. Maybe this is what I was supposed to do. Gonna run around for a few more minutes and um, maybe call on the stream. At this point, I really don't have many objectives. I'm just running for the sake of running. The tower to reveal the map is the other exit. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty uh the delay is horrible. I'm just wandering around aimlessly. Beautiful landscape of Hyrule. It is nice. Chunky chips all the way. Ooh. Yum. Yum. And goats. Oh, goats. Cookies sound amazing. I've got some cookies in the other room. Oh, that sounds so good. I wonder what's up on the mountain top up here. Hmm. Live feed on Discord. Yeah, maybe next time. Maybe. Just wander around aimlessly for no. See, I found this. There's this thing again. don't know what its purpose is, but it's here. What's over the hill? What's over the hill? Who's over the hill? There's the waterfall again. There's the blue flame. I wonder what's over here. 
anything. No, just a giant climbing thingy. Just a nope. giant thing to climb. I wonder how far up I, I can get. Is this going to be a resting point right here? Is it going to let me climb the whole thing? It might. It might let me climb the whole thing. Cookie. Cookie. Cookie sounds amazing. It's going to let me climb the whole thing. I hope. Oh, no. That sucked. Cool. side over there. Yes. Maybe. Let's jump down, get our stem in the back, climb up. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Stupid rain. Again. It's raining. It says it's like 1020. The game is like lagging out. <laughs> That's horrible. The game is lagging out. It's dropping frames. Well, if that's the case, <coughs> we're calling this a stream. Uh, I don't want to go. But I have to go. Well, I don't really have to go either. I don't want to go. I don't have to go. But I am going to go. How's that? <laughs> oh, it's been wonderful. Uh, missing Mr. Game. Er, yeah, missing Mr. Gaming. I got it right the first time. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, appreciate all the members of the channel. Um, all the new subscribers. All the old subscribers. Um, all the uh, young and old middle-aged subscribers. Y'all are awesome. Looked and... He's pushing your wife out of bed, too. A <laughs> little tiny dog. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> All right. Um, thanks again, y'all. I'll see y'all um, approximately 16, 14, let's see, 5 o'clock. So that's 12. Yeah, I'll see y'all like 15 or 16 hours from now, maybe. <laughs> um, if not before, um, anyway, I've um, got a video that I dropped for all the members of the channel, so I don't know if I'm going to release that today or on Tuesday, um, but it will be released pretty soon, uh, for anybody that hasn't joined the channel, and I think I've said everything, uh, good progress in eight hours, I tried, I tried, it might not have been the best, but I did try. Um, super chatters for the evening. Of course, y'all are super awesome. 
Uh, who we got? Oh, uh, we got Nana Chu and Mateo and Horror Collector Fiend. And yeah, <laughs> I hope the PC cools down a little bit. Yeah, it's probably a toaster right about now. I'm about sure it's a toaster right about now. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to shut up now and say goodbye. You're all amazing, and I'll see you all tonight, hopefully. Peace out, y'all. Bye.